Welcome to the Billion Dollar Seller Summit Hack Contest for the spring of 2023. If you are not familiar with who I am, just a quick little background of who I am. I've been selling online since 1995. So before Google existed, uh, right around the time Yahoo started, right around the time Amazon actually started. I wasn't selling on Amazon in 1995, uh, but I've been selling on Amazon since 2001. Been doing FBA since 2015. I've sold well north of uh, eight figures uh, of products online. I currently run three brands, so I'm still a seller. I still have three Amazon brands that I run. You know, they're not $100 million brands, but they, they're seven-figure brands. I still do those. Um, I'm the creator of the Billion Dollar Seller Summit. The very first one was in May of 2019 in Austin, Texas. We did uh, three of them in person, did another one in November of 2019, 2020 COVID kit, couldn't do that one. So we did one, uh, a virtual one in 2021 uh, in the spring. And then we did another in-person one when things started opening up. We're about to do the eighth billion dollar seller summit in Puerto Rico in June. I'm also the host of the AMPM podcast for Helium 10. Uh, it's a great podcast that Manny Coates, the founder of Helium 10, actually started back in 2015 to document his journey. And as Helium 10 grew, he gave that up. Tim Jordan took that over for a while, and then now I'm the actual the host of that since June of last year. I'm also the creator of the Freedom Ticket, which is a course that Helium 10 provides for free to anybody that has a software subscription to at any level to Helium 10. You can access the Freedom Ticket. It's about 60 hours of training from A to Z on how to sell on Amazon. It's had a, a lot of people go through that. Well into the six figures of students have actually gone through that course uh, it's good for experienced people as well as new people. I also host the Helium 10 Monthly Elite. That's the advanced training that Helium 10 provides. I'm the host of that. I'm the co-founder with uh, Norm Farrar of the Collective Mind Society, the Experiential Mastermind. Uh, we have a podcast that will be debuting this summer. Uh, we have some really amazing guests that are going to be coming on that. It's not just about Amazon, but about e-commerce and entrepreneurship in general. I'm also the co-founder with Steve Simonson of Product Savants. Uh, I've spoken at over 60 different events, in-person events. I don't know how many virtual events, but over 60 in podcasts, but it's over 60 different uh, in-person events. I've done a bit of traveling. I've, I've been to all seven continents in 94 countries, and I've been an entrepreneur since I was the age of three. I've actually never made a resume. Only had two jobs in my life when I was a teenager, delivering pizzas uh, and uh, working at McDonald's. Um, but since the age of about 17, 18, I haven't worked for anybody else. So that's my general background. If you're not familiar with me, glad to have you guys here. There's some amazing, amazing content. I've seen some of the presentations already that are going to be given to you guys. You're going to be walking with some really actionable stuff off, off of this. So I think uh, you're going to have your minds blown on some of what you're about to learn. Um, I want to say thanks to all the sponsors that have made this possible. Sellers 5 used to be called Sellers Funding. They changed their name. Amped, Skewdrop, Clear Ads, Quiet Light, Gatita, and Uni Brands. They're sponsors of the Billion Dollar Seller Summit. I want to say thanks to them. And over on the left, you see some of the speakers that are going to be speaking at the next live event in Puerto Rico. Many of them are here today to share something with you, a, a really cool tactic or trip with uh, trick with you today. A few of them had a conflict and couldn't make it, but the vast majority are here. Uh, so uh, these are, I hand select these, these speakers. They're some of the brightest minds in this space. There, there's they're actionable. They're not, uh, you know, I always say that a lot of, you go to a lot of conferences or online things. It's just a bunch of a uh, bluff and BS. These are actionable people that are in the weeds doing this. They know what they're talking about and you guys are in for a treat. I also do, like I said, a virtual event and we did one back in February and the virtual event was won by Ritu Java here. She actually did um, a really awesome presentation on uh, using chat GPT with your PPC and creating Google Docs. It just blew everybody away, like 10 actionable steps. And what happens at each one of these events, and one of the reasons that Billion Dollar Seller Summits are different than a lot of others, is we have a contest, just like we're doing today, where you actually vote on who gave the best presentation. So all the speakers that are coming are bringing their A game. They're not using the same recycled presentation that they, that they use somewhere else, and they're competing. And I publish a list, like you see here, this is the top 10 in order from the last one in February, that was a virtual event, and they don't, they, they want to be on the top of this list. They, they don't want to be down on the bottom or at number 11, 12, or 13, where they're not even listed. So they're bringing their A game. It's, it's next level content. And the other thing is from people always say, are they always the same speakers? No. The only person that spoke at the virtual event in February that's speaking in Puerto Rico is Ritu. That's because she won. So she automatically gets invited. But everybody else 
some of them have spoken at other events in the past, but I don't, I try not to have the same speakers. It's a, it's a big mix. So you'll see a whole different group speaking in, in uh, Puerto Rico. Um, one of the key things about the Billion Dollar Seller Summit, there's very few events out there that have this type of, of sellers in the audience. If you look here at Marketplace Pulse, they show you that 100, uh, over on the far bottom right side, this is, uh, I think as of about a year ago, there's uh, 50 sellers doing over $100 million a year on Amazon. Well, if you look over on the left-hand side, the screenshot there, you can see that at the last event in Austin, which was last August, the last in-person event in Austin last August, there were seven of those 50 people because there were seven sellers that were reporting they're doing over $100 million a year. So seven of those were there. The average in this room was $10.5 million. So the average seller that was at the Billion Dollar Seller Summit was doing $10.5 million on Amazon. So it's a very high level group, not just the speakers, but the audience and the people you're networking and rubbing shoulders with and having lunch with and, and partying with are very, very high level. And that's what you're going to see today uh, in this, these presentations. And one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to give away a free ticket. Everybody want a free ticket? If, you want a free, if you'd like to have a free ticket to the next Billion Dollar Seller Summit in person, type yes in the chat. Just type yes in the chat. If you'd like to have a free ticket to the next Billion Dollar Seller Summit in person, type yes in the chat. Or in the Q&A. I see it in the Q&A. The Q&A is actually probably better. Yeah, in the Q&A. I see a 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. This is a 6,000. The Billion Dollar Seller Summit is not cheap. And the event that I do, it's, it's, it's high level. It's not just sitting around in a classroom. Um, those of you that have been, you know, the, the high level, we, we spare no expense. My event programmer, it, it's like, it's like a fancy wedding or something. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice the way we do everything, the way we organize everything. So it, this is an expensive ticket that I'm going to be giving away. You have to, to, to win this on this webinar, you have to be able to travel to San Juan, Puerto Rico between June 11th and 16th. So you have, so when I announce how you can win this, if you cannot travel on those dates, don't, don't enter. The ticket's not transferable. So if you win this and you can't go, the ticket just uh, won't get used. You can't transfer it to anybody. Um, so it's it's got to be got to be you. Uh, you have to be actively selling on Amazon as well. So if you're not actively selling on Amazon, you and I'm going to put some levels. You're going to you're going to see um, something that comes. You have to be actively selling. Uh, it does not include your airfare or hotel. So you have to get yourself to San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is part of the U.S. So if you're a U.S. citizen, there's no passport or anything needed. It's a two-hour flight from Miami. Um, it's a beautiful place. So what I'm going to do later on in this webinar is I'm going to ask a question. And the first 10 people that type that question or the, the correct answer that meet all these qualifications, you got to meet all these qualifications. I'm going to do it. We're going to do a live drawing where we we'll spin the wheel and do a live drawing and give away a ticket right here to that event. Cool. All right. <clears throat> this is what's going to happen today. This is, this is a version of one of the most popular things we do at each billion dollar seller summit. It's the hack contest. We usually do it on the last day, and it, it's super popular. Uh, we have a cash prize in, on the in-person one. Sometimes the cash prize is like a bag of coins. You know, it's two thousand five hundred dollars, all in fifty cent pieces or something like. Like Dr. Travis actually won that. Other times it's a bunch of ones. We make it fun and and cool, uh, but it, it's it's a really cool event, and you're going to see why here in just a few minutes as we get started. Today, we have between 20 and 25 presenters. We'll probably be here about 90 to 120 minutes, so about an hour and a half to two hours is what I expect this to run. If you have to step away, there will be a replay available within about 48 hours, maybe a little bit sooner, but within 48 hours. Each speaker is going to get three minutes, and there'll be a little timer that's go if, if the technology works right up on screen where they can see how much time they have left to present. Some of them will just talk. Some of them are going to share their screen and show a little presentation to you, but this is some really cool stuff. Some of them may have a downloadable link at the end, so make sure you're ready to screen capture. Uh, if you can't copy down the link or something where they download, like here's the spreadsheet of what they just talked about or or whatever. And at the end of this webinar, I'll post a QR code uh, and a link that you can scan and you'll vote for a winner. The winner today, whoever you guys and gals think did the best job is going to get $1,500 cash. I'll, I'll wire that uh, to to you. The winner's account uh, or ACH wire, whatever, to their, their account. The runner up is going to get $500. And that's all is voted on by you. You'll see it all live in, in real time. So that's what's going to happen today. Just real quick before we get started, the, the Billion Dollar Seller Summit, uh, lot, next one's Ju in June. This is the general schedule. What happens? June 11th is the registration, and we have a, a really nice cocktail party. June 12th, we do presentations all day. 
And then that night, the Million Dollar Sellers Group, which a lot of you may know, it's a big, big group. They're doing an, a, a dinner. And there's about 20, 25 of them or so that live in Puerto Rico. Uh, so they're doing a dinner that night. Uh, on the 13th, there's about half a day of presentations. Then we have an afternoon pool party at the hotel. This hotel is a beautiful hotel right on the beach with a DJ and just a lot of networking, having fun. There's an evening party that's hosted by someone else that night. On the 14th, we do a, we're doing a family feud contest. So the family feud contest, we're going to break up into uh, teams of five. And they're going to be, I'm going to be putting out polls here in the next uh, month or so online for Amazon sellers to answer. And it'll be 100 Amazon sellers were polled. And these were the top five answers they gave. And they're going to compete just like family feud for cash prizes. It's a lot of fun and a lot of good networking. Then we're going to do a networking contest on the beach. Every billion dollar seller summit, we do some sort of competition, whether it be go shoot guns, race F1 cars, um, do a scavenger hunt all over Austin. What we're doing something like, think of the TV show, the reality show Survivor. We're doing something along those lines. And then that night, there'll be a, a party hosted by Seller Systems and, uh, and Data Dive, which is uh, going to be really cool. Then we have another day of presentations, the hat contest, really cool VIP dinner in this really nice place, and this departure. That's basically what happens uh, at, at that event. So someone's going to win a ticket here to actually experience all, all of this. These are just a few things, uh, just a few pictures from the past events. You can see here, uh, Brandon Young won a hat contest. He's got a, a suitcase full of cash there. You can see uh, some of the other people at the F1 track. There's Dr. Travis with his bag of coins in the middle bottom. Um, <clears throat> lots of comments from a lot of these names you know from people on social media uh, <clears throat> have been to previous events. You know, Leo here on the left won the best speaker at the last in-person event. The middle picture, we did a scavenger hunt. People had to go all over town, do... Uh, take pictures and do crazy things. It's a lot of fun. People saying it's one of the best networking things they've ever done. Uh, Isabella Hamilton, a lot of you may know her. She's saying that she's been to a bunch of these. Each one gets better and better and better. She really appreciates it. Um, you know, here's Steve Simonson on the left and his gang. They they won the race, showing their cash. We had Leo Scovio and uh, Danny McMillan. Actually, they're both DJs in their former life. And so they were de we did an impromptu rave party at the last one that was that was really, really cool. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, a lot of stuff. If if you're not familiar with the AMPM podcast, be sure to go and check out these two episodes. They were just released last Thursday and Friday of the AMPM podcast. They feature a lot of the speakers, and they're giving away some hacks and tips in there as well, and talking about the uh, their past experiences at a Billion Dollar Seller Summit. So check out the AMPM podcast. Got some great guests lined up coming too, so uh, hopefully you hit that subscribe button on that. All right, enough of everything. We're ready to get this show on the, on the road. So again, here's how it's going to work. You're going to be voting. So make notes of who's you like the best. Each person is going to get three minutes, and then we'll change to the next person. At the end, we'll vote uh, for a winner. So here we go. We will go ahead and let me queue up the first one. I think it's going to be uh, Dr. Travis. Dr. Travis, if you want to go ahead and turn on your camera. Kevin, what's up? Hey, how you doing, man? Let me I'm just going to... My... Make sure that you guys can hear me okay, because I am in an echo chamber and I'm on a balcony and there's a lot of noise behind me. <laughs> I I can hear you. Uh, you're in Cancun right now, right? Yeah, I'm on family vacation. Still got the pineapple hat on and it is the dad pineapple hat. That make sure I cover everything all the way around. Awesome. Well, if you want to go, are you going to be sharing a screen? I'm going to be sharing my screen. All right. If you want to go and bring that up, just make sure that works before I start this uh, timer. Make sure this little timer uh, thing actually works. Let's see, share display timer. Um, do you see a timer on your side? Oh, it's on my. It's on me. It's on mine. Um, let me see. How do I? Uh, Check here. It may stop your screen sharing. Sorry for the technical issue, everybody. We'll get this. There's a little timer. Let's see. Oh. All right. Well, I may have to do it. I may have to give you like a, a 30 second warning or something. It looks like it's not showing up. Uh, One sec, sorry everybody. A little technical glitch. 
Uh, yeah, I guess the timer will be on my, it looks like it's going to be on my screen. Um, what I'll do is maybe do like this. Does, um, there, can does you the see, timer have like, can you see does that it like, uh, where it says three, it's a countdown? Can you see the other screen of, of me, uh, Travis, where it says three minutes now? I, I just see the timer right now. Okay, that's good. You don't see me. Okay, good. So this, that works. So that'll be the timer. So if you go ahead and share your screen again. Now I can you, see it. Yeah. And you can still see the timer as well. So yeah. You know? All right, cool. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. On three, three, two, one, go. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm using chat GPT to optimize Amazon listings now. And a lot of people are using the actual chat GPT, but Zanguru has actually implemented chat GPT into their software. And so I'm going to show you how to optimize a listing, but then I'm also going to try to show you how to create a listing too from scratch in about 30 seconds with chat GPT. So the first thing we're going to do is go to their keywords on fire tool. This is very similar to those that are familiar with Helium 10 as Cerebro. And so it's a reverse ASIN lookup. And so what we're going to do is going to put 25 ASINs into here. So I'm just going to use after drink hangover vitamin. Uh-oh. Travis, are you there? Uh-oh. He's on a bad internet connection in a hotel. Um, Travis? Hear me now? Yep, now, now we can hear you. Yeah, we lost All you there right. for a second. All right, so what we're going to do is take these. I'm going to turn off my camera. And we're going to take these ASINs, and we're going to run a keyword analysis. And that's going to run those keyword analysis tool. I've already done it for us right here. So this is what it looked like after it's done. We're then going to come over here to the listing optimizer, which is right here. And it's going to pull up like this. So we've pulled these keywords in that it pulled from our top competition. And let me show you first how to create a new listing. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight kind of our top five to 10 keywords. And I like to avoid brand names when I'm doing this. And so once you do that, you can come up here to this check mark or this plus right here. And you can see this AI generated right here. And what this will do is it will bring in chat GPT. It will analyze those keywords. It will analyze all of these competitors that I brought in right here. And it will create a listing for you in under 30 seconds. And so you'll see it kind of populate here. And so we don't have to wait on this because it does take about 30 seconds. I'm just going to close out of this, hopefully. I'll show you guys here. And then this is what that would look like. Slow internet is not your best friend. I had all this pulled up, but it reloaded the page. Here we go. And so you can see right here that it literally generated an entire listing. Here's the title, bullets, one, two, three, and four, five, and then your, your product description as well. And it takes into account all those keywords that we just did. So then for the search term, we'll actually go back through these keywords and we'll just click ones that we want in here. So hangover has two words, pre-drinking, you can see, you can just click these and they will go over to your backend search terms. And that's how we fill all those search terms as well. And so that's how you can use chat GPT to completely generate a new listing for you. Awesome. Thanks, Dr. Travis. That was great. I mean, even with the technical internet, that was good. Appreciate it, Dr. Travis. So Dr. Travis was uh, chat GPT to optimize listing. Next up, uh, Michael Kaufman, are you in the house? I see you there. If you can uh, go ahead and turn on your camera and unmute and then and come on up. How you doing, Kevin? Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. All right. Hey, well, uh, are you quick question you for you. I can do this uh -huh. either way. Um, I've got a, I recorded a video screen share that I can just play or I can just do it live, whichever. Whichever you want to do is, is fine. Uh, if you recorded, just because sometimes the audio doesn't work, just make sure you click the little, when you hit share, there's two little buttons that like optimize for streaming and like share audio on the little share screen. You can try okay. that if you if you want. If that doesn't work and they don't get audio, then um, we can do it live. But we can try that if you want. All right. Well, let's give it a shot here and see. 
Let's see. So I'm on share. You said there's two little buttons for audio. Uh, it's when you right when you hit the share button. Uh, so if you stop stop screen share, and then it's right before you choose which one to share on the right. Zoom pop up window. You know, there's two little buttons on the bottom. Mm, yeah, it must not be working for me. So I guess I'll just do it live. It's all good. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. You go ahead and so, share your screen. Is it sharing now? Yeah, I see. Your, I see your screen. Yeah. Okay. Let me jump over to presentation. Okay. I guess I'm ready right. to roll. Then. Are you ready? And you can see the three-minute timer where one of the windows there. Um, with actually, a minute, a window with. You know what? It's it's all good. I I I think okay. I know. I I'll get it. In all three. right. I'll go ahead and count you down. Uh, so uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for better PDP and registration conversion rates, and you'd like physical mailing addresses for your customers, more and better Amazon reviews, but you don't wanna pay for it, then a simple partnership strategy could be just the thing. So kudos to Sean Hart here. Uh, this is kind of a riff off of Sean's mafia offer strategy. So he definitely deserves a lot of credit for the scaffolding on which this idea is built. Um, so what you're going to do is partner with another e-commerce seller or Amazon seller who is who sells complementary high margin consumables or at least one high priced, very high margin upsell item uh, that they'll be able to sell to your customers. So what's going to happen is your partner is going to provide a freebie item that you're going to advertise on your product detail page in order to increase your conversion rates. And you really want to try to add maybe 20 to even 30% to the retail value of your Amazon listing with this free offer. So maybe a smaller sample size of one of their consumable items or a less expensive SKU from their inventory, or maybe even some brand new product that they don't sell, but they could source inexpensively and that adds a good amount of value to your listing. But then when they ship these out to your customers, they have an opportunity then to cross sell, upsell, uh, or maybe move them into a subscription program for their consumable. So your partner receives free branding impressions on your product detail page, and they get physical mailing addresses for your registrants, but you do too. So your PDP gets a lot of impressions that don't convert into anything. But if you advertise that freebie offer along with the partner's brand name on the product detail page, they get thousands of free branding impressions that they wouldn't get otherwise. So then your product insert, of course, is going to offer that freebie and it's going to suggest they need to register to get it. So they either use the QR code or their URL to go to the registration page. And then you're going to request their email address and a physical address so that the free item can be shipped to them. So you and the partner get all of the customer's contact details. So recapping, you get better conversion rates, which is going to result in higher Amazon ranking, more sales, bigger profits. You get more and better registrations. Uh, with more complete customer contact information because you're getting the shipping address, which means now you can do postcard mailings, you can reduce negative reviews, increase your positive reviews, you can do affiliate you know, sales with the partner products or upsells, cross-sells, but the key is it's at no additional cost to you because the partner foots the bill for the freebie. That's it. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. That was, that was great. <clears throat> so um, let me stop the timer. Appreciate that, Michael. Awesome. Yep. Good job. Thank you. I see some, we have over 600 people in here live right now. So, uh, and some people are saying, will there be a replay on this? There will be a replay that goes out. So don't worry uh, if you have to step away. Hopefully you can stay here live and win uh, a free ticket to the Billion Dollar Seller Summit. Um, but if you can't, uh, there will be a replay that goes out as well. So we'll continue rocking and rolling. Our next speaker is Ritu Java. Ritu was actually the winner at the the virtual BDSS. Uh, how are you doing, Ritu? Hey, Kevin. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. Glad to have you here. You looking forward to Thank Puerto so Rico? Much. I am. I'm very excited. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be good. It's it's a really good uh really good group of, of folks. It's gonna be a lot of information, a lot of fun. All right, cool. Well, I know you've got a little presentation to share. Uh, if you yes. want to go ahead and bring. Uh, sh screen share and get ready before we start the countdown. Yep. Okay. 
Are you ready? There I we am go. ready. Yeah, let's go. All right. And you can see the timer over on one of the other windows. The, yes, I, right. can, I can. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's okay. yours. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to show you a visual hack to instantly make your brand sizzle and stand out. Uh, and this is a sponsored brand headline ads hack. Um, so first of all, I want to ask you guys a question and you don't have to reply, but uh, just uh, what do the following three sponsored brand ads have in common? So I'm going to show you three ads and you're going to try and focus on the image and see what's common in them. Okay, so the first one is this one. It's for a garlic steel press, uh, uh, stainless steel garlic press rocker. Um, and this one has, uh, you know, as you can see, there's three skews and then there's this image that looks like it's a replica of this, but this is just an image. I'm going to show you another one from Japan. Uh, this is for a protein powder. Uh, so there's three products, but then there's three uh, images right here uh, that give you a little bit more than just the hero images uh, do, right? It's uh, more eye-catching. Um, and this is the third one. Uh, again, uh, this is a three-part panel, uh, and uh, this is for a uh, nail art brush. So what you can see here is that people have taken uh, a very interesting um, approach to uh, using triptych images, which our eyes are very uh, drawn to, uh, you know, that uh, a lot of our homes have uh, images like these. So, um, uh, you know, most uh, most of the ads that I see on uh, on Amazon, the sponsored brand ads are uh, look something like this, right? So this one looks like uh, kind of boring, uh, just the three skews and nothing else, uh, no image, uh, no creative image being used. Uh, another one here is, uh, you know, somewhat using a lifestyle creative, but look at the image. It's it's hard to see what the image is and what these products are. So it's really hard uh, and most people will kind of glaze over it, right? Uh, so you want to use something that uh, pops out even in the rest of search placement because you know that sponsored brands have a top of search placement and a rest of search. For the rest of search, Amazon will typically pull your uh, creative image. And so in that image, if you don't kind of stand out, then you've lost the game, right? So this should be customized for both. These uh, look like larger images than uh, than usual. They look glossy, attractive, and it basically screams out, hey, we have lots of choices, right? So how do you get this uh, effect? Uh, now, Amazon has a rule that you cannot use uh, multiple product images on a solid or transparent background. However, the hack here is that you can use creative panels of individual products on slightly different backgrounds, and that will give you the image that instantly gets approved by bots, and I've tried it. So this is what it looks like, right? It looks nice and big and it pops out, and you can stand off from your comp competitors and uh, instantly improve your CTR. We've seen CTRs upwards of 1%. So thank you for uh, for your attention and try this out today. Awesome, thank you, Ritu. That was uh, that was a great, really good tip. All right, we'll continue on with our next speaker, another BDSS speaker in Puerto Rico, Alina. Alina, how are you doing? Coming to us from Romania. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Good. 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 How are you? Good, good. Super ha stoked to uh, have you on and uh, see you soon in Puerto Rico. It's going to be great. Yes, looking forward to it. Awesome. So do you need to share your screen or are you just going to? Yes. Uh, all right. If you want to go ahead and make sure that works okay. Does that work? Uh, yeah, we can see your whole desktop. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, here it is. All right. Awesome. Are you ready? Uh, yes, Nila, ready. A second. Okay. Here we go. On, on the countdown, you'll have three minutes. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So I'll be speaking today about um, uh, duo ranking strategy and a way to rank higher by controlling your inventory. When I say controlling your inventory, I say uh, your inventory distribution within the Amazon fulfillment centers. Just as an example, um, I'm sure many of you know if you have, if you currently have inventory in about 35 Amazon warehouses, and if you tested um, uh, uh, your search. Uh, your keywords rank on on those specific location maybe you you realize that sometimes your rank is higher uh than other uh locations when when where uh, there isn't any uh fulfillment center where 
your products are in. And that is because of prime delivery and because of less expenses for Amazon. Because if you're aware, if you have inventory, uh, if your products are in a California warehouse and somebody from New York, okay, going crazy right now in the example, but just trying to, uh, to emphasize this, somebody from New York orders, uh, Amazon has a um, to spend more money and uh, your prime order won't get there in time. So a way to beat that is using a tool called Shipment Maker Pro. And I'm, I'm, I know many of you uh, here know about it, but I'm sure a lot of people don't um, use it yet. Uh, you can either download your Amazon reports of sales and inventory, uh, or you can use Helium 10. Um, uh, they have uh, something called heat maps of inventory and of sales, and you can cross-check those to look for opportunities. For example, uh, areas in uh, in some states where your product, products aren't there at all, or area in uh, other states where your sales are higher, maybe you can uh, profit more out of that. Then go to Ship and Maker Pro, uh, sign, a, a sign, with a, sign up with them for a subscription, and then you can uh, that this tool is connected with an API to your seller central, and then it allows you to uh, find more warehouses, more than a regular shipment made in Amazon will allow you to choose from. Uh, this way, you can you can um, increase your um, inventory distribution within the within the whole uh, US. Goes uh, works for UK as well. Uh, we have run uh, over 50, uh, 50 tests during the time for in the last six months or so. And all of the these tests proved that uh, when you have your inventory spread more, your general keyword ranking is better. That's it. I'm, I'm good with time too. Awesome. Good job, Alina. Everybody's coming under time today. That's great. Sometimes we have to cut people off, but everybody's... These are professionals here. Uh, that's 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 why I've done this before. Uh, thanks, Alina. That was awesome. Let me stop the timer and I'll bring up the next guest, uh, Ra Razvan Sionka. Hopefully, I uh, said that correctly. Uh, Raz, hi, Kevin. Uh, hey. Just give me five more minutes, please, and I'll okay. be ready. Okay. All, All right. No problem. I'll give you. Uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, next up uh, is uh, Luciana in here. Let's see. Uh, does yes. Oh, are you there? Okay. Yes, I am. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm not seeing your... Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, it's coming yeah. up under a uh, different name for some reason. Okay. Oh, it's oh, Swan. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know what yeah. Swan is, but yeah, my that's... name is... <laughs> Weird. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Well, I don't know why that's coming up. That's weird. It must be a technical little glitch cool anyway yeah. all right um do you need to share your screen or anything yes i will share my screen but okay, you can go ahead and make sure make sure that works yeah uh all right yes i can see the copy of listing the spreadsheet okay cool yeah yeah are you ready are you ready can you see yeah. the timer i'm ready yes all right here we go on my countdown three two one go all right, cool. So we came up with a spreadsheet that really takes the juicy keywords from your Amazon brand analytics. So inside Seller Central and Amazon brand analytics, you go can go from async view, grab your async, make the report by month, and we do it once a month. And if we gain this rack, you guys will receive this spreadsheet so you can build for any async that you have as well. So from the reports that you get from Amazon, you just literally copy and paste, put it on a spreadsheet. It already recognizes the brand terms. If the brand terms are not there, let's say here, this one, for example, is not connected by brand uh, for the brand name. You just put it here, the name, and then the sheet will recognize it so you can uh, build it yourself. So these keywords will not be considered. This brings uh, every information into a database, which you have like some campus for you to choose. So let's say you want to optimize your listing just for keywords that has a minimum search volume of 2000. Then you can see that the keywords number it reduced. Now it's like 69, if I put like 1000 or 100, 1000, yeah. Uh, so you see that the keywords are more 90. So it's all automatic. And we just really created here what really counts for list optimization with impression, clicks and cart to add. So what the spreadsheet does, it creates a ranking. 
So the most, the, the higher number is like the lower ranking, right? So this is ranking number one because they're the most like number of impressions. This is ranking number one because this is the most number of clicks. This is ranking number one because it has the most add to cart. And then here's a formula for you to say, okay, how many keywords do I want to find that's like inside this ranking? So you can also like stipulate here what number would that be? Let's say here that I wanna just be like 25. So we just take the ranks at from one to 25 and then it sum up giving you a score. And then from this score, I really create like the absolutely top rank, meaning that the keywords are having impression, the keywords are having clicks, the creon that are adding to cared. And then this creates like a whole dashboard where it comes the most juicy keywords that are actually bringing traffic and are converting your listing. And then from here, we can literally like select the keywords that you want for your title top, like some for your title, some for your bullet points. And then from here, you can even connect to your chat GPT or just change it to your copywriter and then optimize your listing for what is already converting. All right, that's it. Awesome. And how can they get a, is there a way they can get a copy of that spreadsheet to import their yes, data? If, yes, absolutely. I can send to you and then you can send for everyone if we win the right, obviously. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's, that's great. Awesome. Uh, good job. All right. Let me stop the timer and we'll go next up. Um, we have, um, uh, how do you, um, Dima, let me mute you there. I can hear you. Uh, all right. Next up, we have uh, Antonio Bindi. Antonio, are you in the house here? Oh, he was here. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I just. Uh, uh, what's up, everybody? No, no. Well, <laughs> um, actually, uh, Dima, uh, it's we're going with Antonio right now. We'll come back Dima, to you in, in so just a minute. Oh, sorry, Antonio. Sorry, I thought it's uh, you only. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back in to you just a little bit. All right. Can All right. you can you hear can me, Kevin? I can hear you. You need to share your screen. Awesome. I will share my screen in just one second. Well, Antonio is also one of the speakers in Puerto Rico, doing eight figures on Amazon. Got some really cool strategies and tips. Uh, he's one of these guys that's kept his head down for the last several years and just now starting to come out and share. Uh, so uh, he's he's got a lot of stuff people haven't heard before. Uh oh, I think you have my wrong screen, though. Uh, what, what do you see? I say cross selling with a wide catalog, but it's uh, yeah, you want to just swap screens. Yeah, let me just let me uh, yeah, let me just remove you from my second screen. Can you do you have me now? Everything I don't see. I just, I Yep, there we go. Now, if you can just, there we go. Okay, cool. awesome. Now I can see it. Yep, cool. So, are you ready? I'm ready. I'll count you down. All right, uh, three, two, one, go. So, this hack is uh, part of how to uh, cross sell your products when you have many variations or many products in your catalog. It's what I call the Kellogg's approach to dominate shelf space. Uh, and I'm going to give you uh, the, the, the cherry on the cake uh, on this one. But basically what you want to do is when you have a lot of products that are uh, sellable with the same keywords, you not only want to uh, dominate the, uh, the search results page, but you also want to dominate your uh, product detail page through PPC and also through frequently bought together. And um, people also uh, use the compare to, to sim with similar items and A plus to showcase many of your other products. The one part, uh, one placing that uh, people are um, uh, neglecting is what uh, the, the the product bundles. Um, and this is when, when you create product bundles, uh, offering uh, two or more of your products uh, sold together for a discount. Amazon will uh, create this new section in your product detail page right under your images right under your buy box. So you push everything that's uh, PBC related or uh, all of the, uh, everything that's not visible, it gets gets pushed down and it's a great way to uh, cross promote your products. But what I uh, consider my hack and what I want to present to you guys is that you can actually use that area as another, um, 
uh, image carousel. So instead of just having that little image carousel in the left, uh, in the top left, uh, that's what you, what's seen by everyone. You can actually, uh, uh, if you use uh, lifestyle images in your uh, product bundles, you'll create a new image carousel with with six images right off the bat. Uh, this seller here, he could have used a, a better image in his um, in his fifth image, but you 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 literally have a new carousel of images that you can use to showcase your products in use, like this seller did brilliantly. Uh, these are lifestyle images, and just put them as the um, the the main image for your bundles. Uh, bundles also rank, so this is a, a search results page uh, where they're ranking. So you could also have lifestyle images here, and lastly. Bundles cramp your uh, inventory page. So I suggest you name the bundle SKUs with a Z so they get listed at the very end of your inventory page. So I'm done. <laughs> awesome. Right on time. Good job, uh, Antonio. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Looking forward oh, to your presentation hint, hint, in, uh, hint, hint, in Puerto Rico. Oh, oh. <laughs> awesome uh, that's it cool thank you thanks man appreciate it all right we're going to be giving away a free ticket after the next speaker after the next speaker so we're going to be giving away a free ticket so i'll be asking a question and it'll be the first 10 people that answer it correctly in the uh the q a i guess the chat's not working here in the q a section uh we'll actually uh I will do a spin, uh, a drawing, and someone's going to get a free ticket to Puerto Rico. All right. Next up, let's see. Uh, uh, Rasvin, are you? Oops, I need to mute. Uh, mute. There we go. Um, Rasvin, are you ready? Oops, I don't hear your audio. Okay, sorry, I was muted. There, there we can go. You hear me now? Awesome. I can hear it now. Awesome. Do you need to uh, uh, okay. share the screen? Yep. 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 Let me see. Can you see my screen? I uh, can slash through pricing hack. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. So this would be the shortest one probably, but the most efficient. Oh, <laughs> you can right. stop the right. countdown. I'll start, I'll start the timer. You go ahead and go. So this is one of the hacks which can generate sales right on the spot. And uh, it's pretty much doesn't need a lot of investment. So what do you want to get? You want to get a slash through price. Um, and the way you do it is by creating, um, first you have to set up uh, the, the list price in the back end of your ASIN, as in this case, $150, what we have here. Then you create an FBM listing for the same product. It can be on your account, it can be on other account, it doesn't really matter. You just create um, another listing as FBM and you set your price on that FBM listing as $150, the price you wanna get as a slash through on the, on the main uh, listing. So then all you have to do is just do one single purchase on the FBM listing, and then you can close it. And in a few days, you will uh, get the, the slash through price. Um, one other thing is that it will only last for about 90 days. So uh, you have to repeat uh, the same process kind of every once every three months but it works 100% uh, of the time. So if it's not working, most probably you're not doing it correctly, but as long as you've just followed the, the instructions, it will work. And this will increase the sales from five, 10% to even 25, 30% only by doing this. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> that was uh, great. People are always asking how to do that. And there's a great uh, tactic right there. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Sure. All right. Before we give away, we got one more. Uh, Dima actually is about to run into a meeting, so he's going to go real quick with his hack. So Dima, if you want to come up, Dima is one of the speakers at the Billion Dollar Seller Summit in Puerto Rico. Uh, Dima, are you you going to talk it or are you going to try to share a screen from your phone there? You're muted. Yeah, give me just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. I, uh, I was... Uh, um... I didn't know about hack and test. I just uh, I just saw the the notification and I and I'm like, hey, what I'm gonna share with you if I don't have a screen share? But I have amazing hack for everybody, so it's gonna work out awesome. You can you can start countdown, guys. And okay, um, I started it. 
Yeah, guys. So uh, there's an amazing strategy for you because, I, and I hope it's going to be recorded for you as well. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the strategy called coupon stacking. So, you know, on Amazon, you can, uh, if you create multiple coupons, if someone find out that you have a several coupons at the checkout, they can use these coupons to uh, kind of hijack your um, uh, checkout process. So technically, if you, if you create coupon for 20, uh, four coupons for 25% off for the same ASIN, then if you're going to stack them at the checkout, you're going to have a 100% off coupon. So um, you can use this in multiple ways. You can you can uh, do you can um, uh, send these coupons, explain your your audience or your email list how they st uh, stack the coupons. So this way you can do uh, a massive uh, giveaways or launches. You can also do another hack, uh, which is you can use um, deals websites where you can go to deals websites and kind of uh, you find these people on the Fiverr, pay them like hundred fifty dollars. They place this a uh, hack that they find out that they can stack four coupons or whatever coupons you want and people can start to uh, to buy like crazy your product. So it's it's a it's a nice way to uh, push your products to the top. But there's one one simple case that you have to understand, because if your uh, product can go wild, like it happened to me before, people can buy out 10,000 units in 40 minutes, which is crazy. You know, like so it's 10,000 orders in 40 minutes. It's insane. You, you have to protect your inventory. And how you protect in your inventory, there's also two ways. Way number one, you just go and let's say you have 5,000 units, you want you only want to give away 500 units, you go inside your seller central, you create seller fulfilled order with two weeks delay, it's, it's important. For 4,500 units, you, you block this inventory, you run your giveaway for 500 units, you cancel coupons, you wait till coupons is deactivated, and then you go and cancel a uh, seller fulfilled order. And now you have a full active inventory seller selling again. That's not way number two and uh, way number one. And way number two, you can just fulfill this through another seller uh, seller account with uh, another SKU. And then you just give away this SKU and that's uh, you good to go. There's plenty of ways of you guys. And if you want to have a detailed SOP, how, how you can do it, Please reach out to me directly or see me at Billion Dollar Summit because I'm going to bring way more awesome hacks and tricks for you guys. So that's something that I, I want to share with you today. It's like small little hack, but it can make you millions of dollars before holidays or what the, during promotion period. See you at Billion Dollar Summit, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Dima. So Dima told you how to do some coupon stacking there. Awesome. Uh, yeah, this will be, this is being recorded. So those of you like, wait, 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 I didn't get all that down. Uh, it'll be on the uh, uh, replay so that you'll get there as well. Thanks, Dima. Appreciate it, man. All right. Let me share my screen now. And we're going to uh, do a little giveaway before we continue on. Uh, real quick here. Let me share my screen. All right. All right. So... <clears throat> This is going to be for a free ticket. You know what? I'm going to give away two of these. Uh, we're going to give away one right now, and then I'm going to give away another one in a little bit. So this is a free ticket to the event in Puerto Rico, June 11th to the 16th. You fly in on the 11th, fly out on the 16th. You have to be able to travel. Uh, your airfare and your hotel is not included, so you're getting a $6,500 value ticket. And that's what I sell them for. That's not like some inflated value to make it sound like that's what they, they sell for. Uh, if you go to billion dollar seller summit .com, it's an expensive event. Um, it's not transferable, so if don't don't compete in this contest if you can't go. Uh, and what I want on this first one, we'll open it up later to other people, but I want on this first one, you got to be selling at least a million dollars per year on Amazon. I noticed when everybody registered, people were putting in amounts that you sold. Some people just made up some BS. Some people left it blank. A lot of people were on. Most people were honest. Um, but there's quite a few people on this webinar, a lot of people on this webinar that are doing over a million. I saw several that were doing over a hundred million. Uh, so if you're doing over a hundred million, if you're not doing over a hundred million and you, and hold on, we'll have another drawing, but over a hundred million. Okay. I'm sorry, over 1 million, not hundred million, over 1 million. Sorry about that. misspoke. over 1 million. And you have to be a seller And this is not an agency. You got to be a seller, an actual three, uh, wholesale or three P seller. All right, here's the question. So it's going to be the first 10 people that answer it correctly in the Q&A. So we're doing it not in the chat, but in the Q&A. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of here, so you have to bear with me as I go through them. But here's the question. Type, type in the answer. So just type in the answer. At the last billion-dollar seller summit, 
What was the median seller doing? What dollar amount was the median seller doing? You got to get it exact. I see someone put it's you got to get it exact with a decimal point. You got to get it exact with the decimal point. The median seller. Okay, I see a couple correct answers so far. The median seller. We're going to get about 30 more seconds. The median seller, what was what how much exact it was in millions. It was x point x million x something something point something million. So if you're just putting 1 million or just 10 million, that's not the right answer. You got to put the decimal point. You got to put the decimal point. All right, we're going to close it off here in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's closed. All right, let me bring up the wheel and we'll put in, stop that share on that screen. Let me bring up the wheel. We're going to use to spin to see who this winner, randomly see who this winner is. All right, should see that screen now. And now let me go through from the top. Uh, let's see. All right, Lee, you got the right answer. The answer is 10.5 million. So Lee, uh, B. Uh, the next one was Andy F. Next one was Shea, uh, Sire. Next one was uh, Kaz, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how it's Kazmeres, which should probably be enough. Um, next one was Sean Chamberlain. Next one's John Kent. Next one was Schaff. For uh, easy. Next one. Let's see, a bunch of incorrect ones. Let me scroll. Kyle Niedrich. Sorry if I misspell something on here. Just typing quickly. How many is that? That's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two more. Uh, next one's Gustavo Iberia. Ibarra, sorry. And then the last one on the 10 will be yeah, a lot of incorrect answers. Let's see. Uh, Dean Fawcett. All right, let's see. Uh, that's 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's 10. All right, let's I'm gonna click this win spiel to spin and see who's going to win a free ticket to Puerto Rico. Now, if you win, any of these people win, and for some reason you can't go, the ticket just gets wasted. So uh, hopefully you were listening and you can make sure you're actually available and can actually go. All right, here we go. Spin. Oh, almost. All right. Andy, Andy F. Andy F. If you will message me uh, or reply to the one of the marketing emails you got, you can either do that or I'll reach out to you as well. I don't know if your name is listed in the registration as Andy F or if you or what the name is, but reach out to me uh, and I can cross check it against uh, the Q&A log. And uh, you congratulations. You won a free ticket to Puerto Rico. Sixty five hundred dollar value. Awesome. Good job. We'll do another one of these in a little bit, and it'll be open to more people. So uh, great job, Andy. All right, let's can let me stop the share here, and we will continue on with. We've got a bunch more cool hacks coming your way here. All right, next up, um, we have actually I'm going to do a Carlton Zoo. Carlton's actually I think in Australia, so it's middle of the night here. I see he's on here, but he recorded a video. So I'm going to share his video of his hack real quick. It's like a, so let me actually, because he said he might not, he might be pretty sleepy at three, four o'clock in the morning in Australia. So let me bring up uh, his video and make sure I click the right things here. Go. 
All right. Here is he, Carlton it's a Hack. Hi, my name is Carlton from Sydney, Australia, about to share with you a hack. It's called Shoppable Videos Extreme. Hope you're gonna love it. So golly, there's a product video. If we scroll all the way down, there are more videos. One, two, three, four, click next. One, two, three, four, click next. One, two, there's 10 video slots. Notice that they all belong to golly. What are your video slots right now? Is it your video or is it your competitor's video? You want all of them to belong to you so people don't look at other things. Most of you would know that's called UGC videos. You can get it from below, you can get it from join brands. So method number one, you can jump on Fiverr and search for UGC video. It's probably important that you filter out the people that lives in USA so that your Amazon FBA can actually fulfill to them. You can also set a budget as well. So if I say $30 max, you can now start filtering people that can do UGC at a fraction of the price than the standard flat rate for say below or join brands. There's even some for $5, $15, $10. That's secret hack number one, Fiverr budget max. You can upload multiple videos onto your product. Upload this, upload this, upload this, upload this. The last video goes into your product description. The rest of these videos then remain at the bottom of the web page. So secret hack number two, you wanna upload them in the right order. Now something that kind of sucked with this way is that when you upload it, it shows that it was uploaded under your brand. So Carlton uploaded this, Carlton uploaded this. And it's a great start, it helps fill out the slot, but we all know it's not about what we say, it's about what other people say. These are what we call Amazon influencers. How the hell do we find that? One way is to go to your competitor's listing and click on their video. This is the video, but this is their channel. Click on that. This is an Amazon influencers page. Unlike YouTube, these people want products for their channel. You can easily contact them because they always have their social media links available. You notice that the URL is Amazon shop influencer. So go to Google and search for this amazon.com shop influencer, but it must be in quotes and boom, it only shows up Amazon influencers. Boom, here's this other person. He's got his contact details. Get in contact with them, maybe. Which brings me to the final hack. Shoppable videos. Search that on Fiverr. And what you'll see is Amazon influencers posting their services. You don't have to scrape them or email them. You just go through the list here. This is a very untapped source. You can see there's a lot of people that are not yet rated yet. These are all new people. This is Maggie. She does it for 20 bucks. This five star was from me and she delivered hands down the best UGC I've ever received because I was her first customer. They will upload the video to their channel, but their video will show up on your product and your product would look legit because other people are uploading videos, not you uploading videos. Hope everyone found that useful. My name is Carlton and this was Shoppable Video Extreme. All right, that was Carlton. Good job. That was an awesome uh, hack uh, or, or tactic right there uh, that a lot of people aren't doing. And you can get a really good uh, competitive advantage if you implement that. All right, cool. Next up, we have Lizette. Lizette, she's on vacation and she's ready to go. Uh, hi. hi, Kevin. How are hi. you? Doing? How, how, good. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good. Yeah. Uh, you guys are yeah. getting ready for your summit over there. Don't y'all have a summit coming up in. Uh, Right before Billion Dollar Seller Summit, you have the European exactly. one, right? Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, there there will be an event in Europe, and uh, some of the speakers who are sharing their hacks today as well will be there. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> awesome. Well, All if you're right. ready, do you need to share your screen? Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. I think now you will see it full screen, right? Just let me. I, I see it full screen. All right, I'll count you down, and you'll have uh, three minutes. Are you ready? All right. Uh, just one second. I try to close the Zoom thing I have on my. Wait one second. It's just like covering part of my presentation. OK, now we're good. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. OK, so my Ninja hack is about how you can create 100 Amazon Post images in 10 seconds. Uh, so what's the opportunity if you don't know Amazon Post or if you have never used the tool before? Basically, you can use this tool for free to drive additional traffic to your product pages and, of course, get additional sales. If you manage this tool well and efficiently, you're able to um, get sales with a click price less than 50 cents, uh, for example. So basically, two things you need in order to make posts are catchy titles and lifestyle photos. So sounds pretty easy, right? 
uh, but where is the problem that sellers have been now facing for over two years since we have been having this tool? Uh, the issue is with the photos. So one thing, sellers have super limited amounts of product photos, especially live day photos, which is kind of like having photos of the product in use. And the second thing is that Amazon now allows only to post one image once. So you can't use the same image all over again. So basically that would mean if you want to post two times a day, for example, for every day you need new photos. So how can you actually do that? Uh, so that's uh, what my hack is about. So it's actually quite easy, but you, if you have never done photos yourself, you might even not think about it. So first, when you use cameras to, to take photos of your products, you have to switch over from the regular shooting mode to the high speed continuous mode. So depending on the camera you have, you can get around 10 images in one second, just like pushing down the camera button. And when you use phones, um, I have an iPhone. So in order to just uh, use the burst mode, you just have to kind of, instead of clicking once uh, a button to make a photo, you just have to keep it down uh, as many seconds as you want to. And it kind of creates you like the whole list of pro uh, product photos. You just have to save all of those in order to actually get them because at first they will be saved as like one photo. And again, if you're not so familiar with the functions that your phone has, you might even not recognize that in, instead of like one photo, you actually made like 10 of those. Uh, so basically when before knowing this hack, uh, Amazon sellers could have like four photos of like one photo shoot, let's say these four nice shots. Then now after knowing this, um, knowing this hack, um, sellers could actually have uh, this amount of photos or actually even more. So this is an actual shoot that I made for the Freedom Ticket course. And this is only a portion of the photos we took like in, a, in around like uh, 30 minutes or so. Uh, so I used both of these hacks um, to do it. And most important takeaway is that uh, when you're a seller, you have to inform your team about the phone function. And when you work together with photographers, you have to ask them separately, please, could you use this shooting mode and provide me all of the photos you make? They basically, with, with after editing, uh, I don't know how much time I have, but one thing is that for photographers, when they post edit the photos, if they are done shooting in this mode, basically they just can easily apply like all of the post edit with like- uh, one... Lizette, we yep. got three minutes is up. <laughs> All right. So, so happy, have to, happy boasting. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Our next speaker uh, is uh, Adriano in, in Grosso. Adriano. Hi, Gavin. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, do you have a camera? Do you want to turn on? Uh, no, sorry. No camera, just a presentation. Okay, yeah, you can uh, share the share your screens, make sure that's uh, working okay. Sure. All right, okay. so I, I see your screen, the mid-journey uh, open AI. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, just, are you ready? Yep, ready. All right, you can, can you see the three minute uh, timer in one of the other windows? Uh, yeah, no, no worries, I have it. Timer okay. here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's all yours. Thank you. So um, basically, my my hack is about AI uh, image generators. Um, I don't know if you are familiar. Everybody's familiar with those, but basically, the, the best two ones are the two best ones are Mid Journey and Dali. You can see here the first two links. That's where you can uh, go check them out. So how they work is that you you can um, write a prompt of something that, for example, you can describe an image. Let's say you want to see a, whatever, a dog on a beach or something, and, and they will draw it for you. Now, the, the problem of these tools is that they are, they are really powerful, but um, the output that you receive, the, the final image that you receive, basically is depends on the input that you give on the quality of the input that you give. So um, as, as with everything with computers, if you put garbage in, you will, you will get garbage out. So um, the, the prompt is everything. So um, I have two links here. I will show you now. Uh, they, there are two tools that can uh, increase the quality of your prompt uh, so that you can get better images. Uh, so the first one is this one. Uh, the link was 
uh, you can see it here, but it was also on the previous slide. So let's say I, you know, my idea is to get a landscape uh, with a bottle of water. So that's my initial idea. I submit, and then I get this result here, uh, which is like, um, you know, the seed phrase is the same, but then you get uh, other ideas. So these are the results. So this one is the initial idea. It's just a landscape with a bottle of water. And uh, the other prompts, you, you can see that, for example, this one is cinematic in ultra realistic green light. This one uh, gives you like a painting, a canvas. This one is like an art style. This one is a uh, lake, you know, you have, so basically you, you can generate a lot of stuff with this. So play with it. It's, uh, it's very good for brainstorming and for improving like uh, AI images. And another tip is that if you resubmit here, you can get other ideas. So they always change and you can try them out. Second tool, uh, again, you start here, you get your initial idea and it will give you the prompt that you insert into mid journey. And the good thing here on this other link, on this other website, you can choose the style. For example, the, you see here the style, uh, you can draw your image like an artist uh, style, for example, I don't know, Andy Warhol, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, whatever you want. And also the materials is a really good one. So you can change your prompt and, uh, and get this one. And it's good also to generate company logos or packaging. All right, that's three minutes. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, appreciate it, man. Good stuff. Awesome. All right, next up, we have Janelle Page. Janelle's one of the speakers at the upcoming Billion Dollar Seller Summit in Puerto Rico as well. Janelle, are you here or did you step away? No, no, I'm here. Let's oh, see. Oh, Just okay. got to turn on my computer. There okay, we go. Awesome. Gonna share my screen. Let me grab my the right thing that we're going to be looking at. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. And... All right, I'm going to share my screen. All right. Okay, I'll go talk fast. I'm the, I'm the fast talker here. Okay, if I'm ready. Uh, to talk oh, you want to go ahead and make it full screen? Oh, yeah, how do I do that? Oh, or no, it's, it's fine. If you can see it, I'll just go. It's a little bit hard to see because it makes it hard. It, yeah. Um, I never can figure all... out on this, where do you hit make your full screen? Do you know? Um, it should be under probably view. View. The top. View, maybe. Slide slide show. Show like that. Okay, so then yeah. if I touch it, it's gonna go to the next screen. Okay, here yep, we go. Here we go. Are, are okay. you ready? Yep. Uh, all right. Okay. On this, go. Here we go. Keyword go. gold mine. This is my super fast and easy system for uncovering sales boosting keywords. All right. So you guys all familiar with brand analytics? This is in that screen. You're gonna go to search query performance. You're gonna choose ASIN view. Pop in your ASIN. Now, this is good for sellers who've got an existing storefront and there's some data. I'll show you if you're like brand new or you got a new launch how to get good keyword ideas. All right, I like to go at the monthly view uh, just because it's more recent. You can do quarterly and all that jazz. So set those and then you're gonna get this pulled up and you're gonna export it, generate a download because you're gonna start seeing for that ASIN what the top search queries are. And you can also, when you look over in your Excel sheet, I like to get it in Excel. This is what it looks like if you take a big screen. You start to see which percentage of the click share, impression share, add to cart, conversion share you have on that keyword. This is super powerful. So now I get it in my Excel spreadsheet. Can you guys see um, up here the tops? Cause I can't, cause my bar's in the way, but this is how many purchases you've had on that keyword. And you see how many search, the search volume on that, you can sort of see and prioritize. Oh my goodness, this is a keyword that I've converted on and I don't even have great ad spend behind that. It gives you ad ideas, not just for product, sponsored product ads, but your headline search ads. I use this to basically mine data to create sponsored sponsored headline ads and better video ads and even, um, well, not really sponsored display, but that's good. So you're going to do that. And then you can also come back in for brand view. This also gives you a really good view of, uh, of a keyword you can use for sponsored headlines. So I think you all know this screen. I want to get to where the most important thing is when you create that headline ad, when you see like if the keyword that you uh, think is a good one, because you're showing some conversions, vitamin B12, just make sure you make relevant uh, headlines that match up with this. I put like one to two keywords in each of my headline ads, just so that I can rank for them. I, I do that on uh, single key keyword ASINs as well. Like I will do one keyword, 
for that ASIN in one campaign. So we call them keyword ranking campaigns. And I just put all my spend on that when I know it converts well. So you're using this data to find your winners, isolate them in single keyword ASIN campaigns in your sponsored headlines, only have one or two, as long as like it's the same version of this, so you can match your headlines. You're gonna see your conversion rates shoot through the roof. And you're gonna add these custom images. I'm showing you, this is a huge miss. This is what most people are doing. Someone types in L'Oreal lipstick, they're too lazy to create a custom headline. Their makeup, we're looking for lipstick, say li lipstick there. Also use people and product, huge conversion rates and before and after, it's a formula that will crush for success. Okay, for those of you that have new accounts and you're like, dude, I don't have any data if I go into my brand analytics, well, go to your product opportunity explorer. This is a gold mine. You can come in here, you can do your niche. I just pretended beard oil. It'll pull up all the top keywords. You can see search volume. You can see if it's trending up or down. And then you click into that and you get all of the top three products. Now it's more visual. You used to have this in brand analytics. You can start to see where you have opportunity to scale. So this is how I use this data to really up it on, on my keywords. Uh, we're out of time. Out of time. The BDSS for the bonus tip. That's right. You come to the BDSS in Puerto Rico for yeah. the bonus tip. Thanks, Janelle. That was awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Next up, uh, I'm probably not going to say this name right now. I apologize. Abish Abishik Morjan Morjani Morjani. Yeah, Abishik. It's Abishik. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I'm sure that happens all the time to you. How you doing? Man? Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Do you, do you oh, uh, want to share a screen or turn on your camera? Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm just going to share my screen here. Okay. Perfect. So I guess we can start the timer now. All yep. right, I can see it. I'll count you down. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. Perfect. So, I mean, for us, like, I mean, like, this is for like Q1, basically. We changed, like, how we used to look at the data for what we, how we used to share the business, right? And it helped us increase our bottom line by 50%. How we did this basically we basically started looking at products as uh, based on their visibility score the visibility score is generally like a weighted average between the position rank that a keyword has and like the search volume that, uh, that for that keyword and essentially it's super easy to basically i mean think about this right when you have imagine you have a keyword which has a search volume of 5000 and you're ranked first for that keyword and now imagine there's a keyword which has a search volume for 50,000, but you're ranked fifth for that keyword. There's a good chance that you're still making more sales from that 50,000 search volume keyword than a 5,000 search volume keyword. Now, how do you basically look at it from a data perspective, right? So this is where I basically we prepared this visibility score assumption where basically what it does is for every keyword based on the position rank, based on the search volume, it kind of gives out like a maximum visibility that you can achieve on that. And then based on that, you can see like if there is a, a keyword with a higher search volume, if you lose like lose a lot of ranking over there, of course, you go lose a lot of visibility over there, right? Now, say for example, you take for assumption this keyword over here with 260 search volume, right? You might lose out on a lot of ranking over here, but the visibility does not get affected that much. Now, how does this help you in general? I mean, what you can then do is you can just look at the delta, the maximum visibility that you can achieve and the actual visibility that you have, and you can easily see what are the keywords for which you for which you can target. Like the next time you're running a seven day deal, you basically just kind of push through these keywords during uh, with the PPC. And essentially you can see like just by targeting these three keywords, you can recover on 44% of your visibility. So you don't have to waste money targeting all these keywords in the first place. You should be first of all focused on targeting these three keywords. Also how it helped us steer our portfolio was, what we did is based on this visibility score, we split our portfolio into clusters A, B, and C. So cluster A was products which had a high visibility. Now these are products which where we focus on yield management, we focus on increasing the bottom line, getting the best seller badge. Now there are like cluster B and C. These are products, cluster B are products which are low on visibility, but have still a good review. And these are like soft relaunches, right? So for them, we treat them as a soft relaunch. We try to reset the honeymoon period somehow. And basically, of course, try to move them into cluster A by like treating them like as a soft relaunch. Cluster C products are products which have like a low review count, but also a lower visibility and there you have to do an additional analysis right so you have to go inside you have to look at the market and see you if you still meet the review threshold in the market if you don't then of course you kind of just this is a product then you, you know that okay you either need to retrade this product or probably it's an end of life product that you take out of from your assortment essentially so it's a cool way to uh, like uh steer your portfolio if you have like say more than 100 SKUs or so yeah that's that's from my end awesome good stuff <clears throat> appreciate uh -huh. that Yes. All right. Yes. Next up, we have uh, Steve Simonson. Steve, are you uh, in the house? There he is. I am Mr. here. Mr. Simonson. Hey, everybody. 
How you doing? Good to see you again. Just saw you over the weekend there. And there you are again. <laughs> True. Here I am. All right. Uh, Steve is one of the speakers in uh, Puerto Rico as well. In, uh he's been uh, sharing a few things on, on what he's going to be presenting in Puerto Rico. And I'm like, holy cow, this is uh, going to be mind blowing uh, what he's talking about. Um, but I know he's got something really cool to share with you right now. So, uh, Steve, uh, are, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'll start the timer and count you down. Um, three, two, one, go. Hey, everybody, it is me. We're talking today about superhuman mid-journey prompts by leveraging chat GPT-4. Now, you may have seen these types of photos in the headlines, right? This person, by the way, does not exist, uh, but it's a gorgeous photo with all kinds of exquisite detail. Another one here, notice uh, the reflection that the person is looking out and there's a reflection. These are world-class photos that are not real photos. They are fake AI-generated photos, including this kind of sad clown riding on the subway. But look at the detail. Incredible. So I can tell you that using Midjourney or Stable Diffusion, uh, and to a lesser extent, <clears throat> Dolly, you get really crazy, wonderful images. Even misspelled, crappy prompts can get you good stuff, uh, although you may end up with nine-fingered grandma there in the middle. So... Uh, our objective is to say, how do you take something that's not perfect uh, and, and make it better? And it's all in the prompt. So you could type this in and get a, a nice image from uh, Midjourney, but I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT4. You type in that Star Wars living room and it gives you this as a prompt suggestion. So we're going to train ChatGPT4 how it can take and that single line, you know, two words, four words, whatever you put in for the prompt and turn it into something magnificent with extraordinary levels of detail. I won't read you through all this, but it's got cameras, lens, lighting, et cetera. And then it comes out with a beautiful photo. So here's the checklist. There's, there's only four or five steps here. You start a chat GPT conversation, and then you move through these checklists, which I don't have time to read you. I'm going to let you read those later. So we start the conversation. Now, it's important that you use a unique conversation because we're training it. Uh, I'm going to give you this document at the end. You can follow a link to get the uh, free uh, paste, but you just copy and paste block number one, block number two, block number three. And essentially you're saying, hey, GPT-4, I'm going to train you how we do this thing, okay? And it says, okay. And you just keep copying and pasting until you're done. And once you do that, it has all the contextual history especially once you add in example prompts, which again, are give you in the document, to get these really incredible uh, photos uh, with lots and lots of details. So now we've already trained it. And again, I'm going to give you the document so you can train it for yourself. And now we say, hey, be a professional photographer and tell me all the things I need to know. And now we know we're done with the checklist. So we're just on to beautiful images. And sure enough, this is a 1930s influencer with all the relevant stuff gorgeous, amazing detail, not even upscaled. You can make product design ideas. You can make stock photos. You can make just about any old thing that you want. The key here, everybody, is it's not just about making incredible images. Every conversation you train has that contextual history. If you put this in the hands of your people, you will find extraordinary results. Awesome. Right on time. I appreciate that, uh, Steve. That was great. Yeah. Give everybody a second to uh, capture that uh, QR code if you want to download and uh, see with all those prompts and get all that information. All right, cool. Uh, next, we're going to have one more speaker, then we're going to do another giveaway of another ticket to Puerto Rico. So after this, we have, there's 11 speakers left on my list here. Someone was asking how many more. I think two of them may not be here or they may come in and out. Uh, so we're going to have somewhere between nine and 11 more coming up, uh, depending on it. There's two of them that aren't in the room right now, but maybe they'll be rejoining. Uh, our next speaker is Benjamin Weber. Benjamin, are you in the house? I am. There he is. How are you doing, man? Making me go, good, making me go after Steve's a little unfair, but. <laughs> uh, you want to share your screen or are you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll share my screen. All right. Um, David's asking, can we put, uh, Steve will answer you, uh, in the chat there, uh, David, about that QR code for you. All right. Um, are you ready, Ben? I am. 
All right, I'm going to count you down on three minutes. Uh, three, right. two, one, go. All right, so one of the really annoying things that can happen with ChatGPT when you're trying to look at a lot of data is it can't see it all. And it would be really nice if you could look at sheets without lying to you. But if, you, if people haven't noticed, ChatGPT lies a lot. If it doesn't know the answer, it's just going to make something up. And a lot of times that'll happen even when you share something like a Google Sheet with it, which it says you can do through uh, chatgpt.openai.com. It says you can share files with it and it'll be able to access them. And it can, and it can sort of see them, but it'll also kind of just make stuff up and not really fully understand what it's looking at. It can kind of get the context of what's on the sheet, but it can't actually fully read it uh, from what I've seen so far. So what I'm looking at now is a uh, service called GPT, uh, sheets for GPT or uh, GPT sheets or something like that. I forget what it's called. Uh, let me move this. Uh, GPT for sheets and docs. So what this does is it can basically do literally anything you want. Right now I'm going to have it create a, essentially a dashboard of the top 10 most profitable products from the sheet title test based on the profit column and show the data for columns A through M. And it gives me the actual formula. So I just hop over here into sheet two, put the formula in right here. and it creates it for me. So you can just, all you have to do is put in what you want it to do and it'll create an actual dashboard for you. So you can actually look at information and have it sorted and organized for you without you having to put any effort or learning how to use sheets or anything like that. It can also do a ton of other stuff. Uh, so it has all these functions here that you can see. Uh, it can actually summarize things, it can translate, it can extract, it can classify. Like if you're trying to sort through your reviews or anything like that, this is literally the perfect thing to do. It can also do prompts for you. So if I were to do something like this, it's going to tell you why I should win the money for the best hat. So you can do everything that you can do for in GPT, or a lot of things you can do in chat GPT, in sheets, but it's actually going to be able to interact with the document and the information that you're working on. And so I shouldn't win because I create a program that can detect and prevent cyber attacks. Well, that's making things up. But uh, if I'd actually put more information and in, it could have put a, it could have created a real actual uh, reason for why I should win or something like that. So if you're trying to use chat GBT and you're trying to organize a lot of data quickly, Use GPT for sheets and docs. You're going to have to have an API through open API, open API through open AI. And that's a mar negligible cost, but it will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort in organizing your data. All right. That was good. Benjamin, I appreciate that. Awesome stuff. Some people are saying uh, the last one from Steve, the QR code uh, might not be working. There's a link in the Q&A. So if, if you try that. There's a link that Charles C. posted in the Q&A at 223 um, that uh, if you get an error message on that. Um, so there you go. All right, cool. Uh, just checking the Q&A there. All right, all right. We're going to give away another free ticket now to Puerto Rico. Let me share my screen uh, and we'll do that. All right, so for Puerto Rico. All right, next up, for, you, know, you can see we got a really good group of speakers speaking in Puerto Rico. Some of them, several of them have been on this webinar. Uh, also have several people from the MDS group that are going to be speaking. Jolie Dumas, actually from Entrepreneur on Fire, pretty famous podcast, going to be there. Uh, quite a few uh, really great uh, topics and guests. Um, now, the free ticket. This is a 60, this is a VIP ticket. So it's a $6,500 value. That's what it actually costs. People pay, pay this for the ticket. It's not some inflated value. Um, you got to be able to travel June 11th to the 16th. Got to be able to travel June 11th to the 16th. That's, uh, those are the dates. Uh, the ticket's non-transferable. So if you win, it's for you and you only. You got to be selling at least half a million a year on Amazon to actually win this. You got to be a seller, not a service provider. You actually have to be an Amazon seller. You have your own products or you're doing wholesale uh, on Amazon. Does not include your hotel or air, airfare. 
We've got some special rates on the hotels for those that are coming, discounted rates. Uh, it is, it's a, summer is a, a high season in Puerto Rico, so it's not the cheapest time of year to go, but it's still reasonable. And it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. The Vanderbilt we're doing this in. If you ever been to the Bellagio in, uh, in, in uh, Vegas, it, it's kind of the tropical version of the Bellagio. It's a, it's a beautiful hotel right on the beach, directly on the beach, uh, right in the heart of everything in San Juan, Puerto Rico. All right, we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to do another wheel. It'll be the first 10 people to post the correct answer in the Q&A, not in the chat. The chat's not working for some reason here. I think I maybe didn't turn it on, but in the Q&A section, you're going to want to post the answer. It's going to be the first 10 people uh, that, that post the answer. Um, all right, so the question is, which day, which day, during the Billion Dollar Seller Summit, oops, which day during a Billion Dollar Summit, remember I showed you a little uh, kind of rough itinerary earlier, which day is the hat contest? Which day are we holding the hat contest? It's a specific date. So say like May 7th or whatever the date is, say the specific date, what date is the hat contest in Puerto Rico? We're going to give it about a 30 seconds to a minute here. It'd be the first 10 correct uh, answers. We'll actually get entered into the wheel to win a free ticket. So which day, I, I posted a rough schedule earlier, which day is the actual hack contest, the live in-person hack contest, kind of similar to what we're doing here in Puerto Rico? Going to give about 15 more seconds. I see some correct and some wrong answers. About 15 more seconds, about 10 more seconds, and we'll cut it off. About five more seconds, and we'll cut it off. All right, that's it. Um, I am now going to go scroll back. Oh, wow, there's a lot of answers here. Um, uh, yeah, you can't say, Lee, you said day six. It has to be a specific date, like the month in the in the, the day. Um, so, all right, let me uh, pull up the wheel. Let's stop sharing the screen. Enter the 10 people real quick. Uh, share this screen. All right, so here's our wheel. That was our last group right there. Delete that. So it looks like, let me just make sure I'm starting at the top here. Um, all right, looks like the first one is June 15th is the correct answer. Uh, June 15th is the correct answer. So uh, Zachary, uh, you're the first one. Uh, Zachary Snyder. Next one, uh, got it right, was uh, Kaz Casimir's. Kazimir, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Casimir's. Oh, Next one that got it right was Adam uh, Varner. Next one that got it right was Mike G. And then, I uh, so, so, uh, can't pronounce that, Sajar. So you are the older. Next one got it right. Uh, Marcelo. Miguel. Next one that got it right. Gina Perez. Next one I got it right. Nick. Uh, back. Uh, Bakshalian. Next one that got it right, Carrie Miller. Carrie, you already have a ticket, so I'm going to take you out. You already have a ticket, uh, so this is non-transferable, so I'm going to take you out. Uh, Katie S. Uh, Alfonso Farina. How many we got here? It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 10, right? Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. So one of you 10 is going to win a free ticket to Puerto Rico, a VIP ticket worth $6,500. All you got to do is get yourself there and get your hotel. And you're with us about 100 to 100, uh, I mean, 120 to 150 total people will be in Puerto Rico. So it's, a, it's not a huge event. You can get to know everybody there, rub shoulders with some of the best of the best in this space. So here we go. See who it's going to be.
All right, we have a winner. It's Kaz Kazmirez. Congratulations. You have just won. Let me take a screenshot of this. Reach out to me uh, and we'll get everything coordinated. Reach out to me by replying to one of the, the marketing emails you got. Uh, or uh, I'll actually look your name up here as long as this name matches what's in the registration. You didn't change your name. Uh, I'll also try to reach out to you as well. Congratulations. All right, we're going to continue on now. We've got several more great hacks coming your way. Next up, we have uh, Anthony Cofrancesco. Anthony, you in the house. There he Hi. is. How you doing, Anthony? What's going on, everyone? Anthony's going to be speaking in Puerto Rico as well. Uh, and uh, you guys are actually hosting a party one night as well. Yep. On the, I think it's on the last day, on the 14th, maybe. Uh, second to last day. Yeah, this, uh, the last day we had the VIP dinner. But yeah, I think you're on the, the second to last day. You guys are hosting a, a party. That's going to be uh, awesome. Should be good. Cool. Well, do you need to share your screen or anything? I don't. I'm going to just drop you a message with some links in it. And then I'm, if you just want to like send that to everyone, then they can just get those links and I'll just go through it with no screen. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, if you drop me those links, I'll make sure I share that uh, with the replay. Uh, uh, with the replay, or you can post it after this, maybe in the Q and A. Sounds good. I, yeah, I'll, I'll also drop it in the. I don't know if I can ask questions in the Q and A because I'm a panelist, so I just sent it to you. I don't know if you can post it to the whole group. Um, but, oh I yeah, see. I got it. Okay, I've got it here. All right. Yeah, I'll just copy this whole, paste this whole thing in there. Yeah, just for the Q and A, so that everyone can see it. Okay, I'll do that right now. All right, cool. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, what's going on, everyone? Uh, yeah, I'm going to share a few hacks. I'm going to try to get through these quick and cover things that not everyone else has covered already. First one I really like is using a standalone insert just for the purpose of getting more user-generated content. Uh, one of the cool things you can do with this is test like two or three different variations. And then on that insert, you know, the goal is to get user-generated content that you can use in your listings, posts, ads. Um, just have like a little thing that's different for each variation that says like include X, Y, and Z when you tag us, you know, in order to win. And then you can kind of double down and see what ones work. So uh, on that insert, all you need to have is like links to your socials and then uh, previously created user generated content. And then again, as you're testing those two to three different concepts, figure out which ones are getting the highest, you know, input of user generated content, create more variations, and then you'll just get this kind of free flow of user generated content. The second thing that I want to share, if you saw my talk last year at Billion Dollar Seller Summit, I talked about Dolly, that's uh, for generative images. And I'm not going to talk too much about uh, any AI stuff because it's already been well covered. I have a couple tips here, but this is really big news from Amazon. Uh, Amazon through AWS is putting out their new versions of AI that is going to compete with like ChatGPT and OpenAI. So it's called Bedrock. You can go and sign up if you have an AWS account and start getting updates. There's very little information about it out there. But if you think about the models that these um, AI are trained off of, I think that in the long term for applications for sellers, that Bedrock is going to turn into be some of the more valuable. Um, also, too, to know about Bedrock is it's, it's broken down by a few different foundational models. And so it's not just on the AWS model, which is uh, they have Amazon Titan there. Uh, there's a few other. And so for generative images, I in my presentation last year, I was talking about Dolly. Since then, I've been using MidJourney. I, I like it a lot more. But this new Amazon uh, is going to be built off the, the model for stability AI. So I would recommend trying to play around with that. There's been some really good information today already on using prompt generators. I cannot stress that enough. Doing this AI stuff is like doing a magic spell. And if you're saying the wrong words, it's not going to work right. So Steve gave a really good tip there. I think there's one other person uh, that shared a prompt generator. Uh, this is a really good, just like no video, just a text document that Chris Rawlings put out a while ago, but I still use it almost daily. Uh, just really simple chat GPT prompts that you can use for FBA. And then I always get a ton of questions about, hey, where do I go for images? I know I talk about images a lot. One, eight, and I don't get, there's no affiliate, no commissions here. Check out Amazing Listers, really good budget option with a la carte options. And then if you're looking for to spend a little bit more money, but want really good output, check out Share It Studio. And then the last hack here is like anyone using Data Dive knows it's crazy complicated. So if you need help getting to learn that, then you can join office hours at that link. That's all I've got. See you in Puerto Rico. Awesome. Thanks, Anthony. I just posted 
uh, in the chat. It won't let me post in the Q&A for some reason either. Um, so I just posted into the chat what uh, Anthony sent over. So hopefully everybody can see that. If not, yeah. I'll also include that with the replay that has all the links to what he just talked about as well. Great. Appreciate it, man. All right. Next up, we have Joshua Hadley. Joshua. What's you doing? up, Kevin? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Looking uh -huh. forward to uh, June. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it too. Um, and I, I guess a couple of people that want a ticket here are also going to be looking forward to it as well now. That's but right. That's right. Don't go away. I've also got another way that uh, if you didn't win one of the tickets coming up in just a little bit, I'm going to show you something pretty cool on how you can uh, get to Puerto Rico as well. So don't, uh, don't go away just yet. If you're interested in coming and joining us in Puerto Rico, there's going to be something I've never, ever done before. No, literally never, ever done before. That's coming up. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right. I see your screen. Do you want to put that in slide mode? Yes, sir. Uh, that's awesome. Perfect. All right. Uh, if you're ready, I'll count you down. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, everybody. How would you like to increase your average order value, influence the frequently purchased together section on your listings, help new products gain sales faster and gain more real estate on your product detail pages, all while using a white hat hack? First of all, who am I? I'm an eight-figure brand owner and also the host of the Ecom Breakthrough Podcast. This hack I've called the one-click add-to-cart white hat hack. So what is this? If you take a look here at this MacBook, on the right-hand side, you're going to see this add an accessory. If you don't know about this, anybody is eligible to actually add an accessory to any of your product detail pages, but nobody knows how to do it. So I'm showing you how that happens. But essentially what happens, as you see here in the screen recording, a customer is able to add any accessories without having to leave the product detail page of the one product they came to shop for. So as you can see here, from one detail page, you have now been able to increase your average order value from just this one product at $1,249 to now without leaving one product detail page, my cart value is now $1,438. You also get to influence this frequently purchased together section here, right? You get to include whatever accessories you want on every detail page. In addition, you get to add any accessories to any product. It doesn't even have to be related. So when you launch a brand new product and you want to get more exposure to it, send it over and add it as an accessory to any of your other existing products on Amazon. And as you can see here, they can still look at all the reviews, the summary, the product details, all without having to click away from the original product that they found interest in. That's the power of this. In addition, you actually get to maximize more real estate on your Amazon detail page and push down those competitors that are trying to advertise on your listings even further. So this sounds great, but it probably takes way too much time and effort, right? Completely false. This is probably the easiest hack to implement of all of these today. Here is a simple spreadsheet. All you need to do is fill it out, send it to your SaaS core rep, and it will be uploaded to Amazon. So here you go, get a copy of the spreadsheet template using this QR code and hit that easy button and add some accessories. Awesome, Joshua. Appreciate that, man. That's a really good, uh, really good, totally white hat technique uh, that can uh, really make a difference. Uh, I know it has, we talked about that on the podcast that can really make a difference in uh, your business. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Anytime. All right. Next up, we have Ayaz, Ayaz Hus Hussein. How Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm not awesome. going to turn on the camera. There are some internet issues, uh, but I, am I want to talk about uh, some of the hacks, some of the basic hacks uh, related okay. to content reflection issues on the front end as a number yeah, of sellers you, were asked. Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a, a you want to share a, a screen or are you just going to talk? I just I want to talk. Okay. All right. Uh, if you're ready, I'll start the timer. Uh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, you can start. Okay. 
Okay, uh, sometimes on Amazon, when you try to update the title, bullet points or any other attribute of your product listing through Seller Center, you may encounter an error message in title section that says the title conflicts with another title due to this error. Amazon won't allow you to submit the new changes on Amazon Seller Center. You can make changes through feed file, but that changes uh, won't reflect on front end. Uh, when you contact Amazon Seller Support, they used to suggest deleting and relisting the product of for 48 hours but that doesn't solve the problem i have a trick to resolve this issue but first need to understand that why this issue arises it usually arises when you list the same product on different marketplaces and sometimes it happens that in one of the marketplace category changes as there are a number of the products that can be listed in different categories like in our case or listing can be listed in the healthcare category as well as in the jewelry category but we used to list our products under healthcare category to get the margin of less referral fee. But sometimes Amazon changed the category for our product to jewelry because our listing includes uh, jewelry related keywords. As a result of these changes, our product may be categorized as the healthcare in one of marketplace and as jewelry in another. This inconsistent category uh, often restricts the ability to make changes in the product listing. To avoid this issue, it is important to ensure that we have a, you can say that, uh, we have uh, the same uh, category across all of the marketplaces. Once you have the same category across all of the marketplaces, then you will be able to update the content on, uh, you can sub you, you can you will be able to submit the content, then that will reflect on the front end as well. One uh, more important hack I want to discuss is that most of the sellers were talking about that they are not being able to, uh, they are uh, trying to update the content of their existing listing, but that content is not being reflecting on the front end. Uh, front end. Sometimes when you try to update the content of an existing listing, such as the title or bullet points, the changes may not be reflected on the product detail page, even after several days. Upon contacting a seller support, they may inform you that another representative of the brand has the winning contribution and they will not disclose their ID. This can be frustrating, especially if you are the sole owner of the private label brand, but don't have the right to make changes to your own content. This happened when you have enrolled your brand. Uh, when this happens, this happened when you have enrolled your brand in multiple marketplaces, but have not listed your items in all of the marketplaces. For example, in our case, we enrolled our brand in Japan, but we did not list our items there. However, someone hijacked our listing and listed one uh, listed our item in the Japanese marketplace. As a result of the, as a result, the hijacker also owns the buy box and has the winning contributor. To resolve this, what we have to do, uh, or we have to remove the hijacker through the brand history or we have to list our items in the Japanese marketplace to regain the bike box, and then we will be able to update our content, then, then that content will reflect on the Amazon front-end page. That's all, all right, that's three minutes. Uh, Yaz, I yeah. really appreciate it. That was good stuff. Yeah. And for those, some of you that are wondering, one, one of the things I'm gonna actually do with this webinar is I'm gonna run it through an AI program uh, to actually create a transcript, a written transcript of this. So when uh, the replay goes out, I'm hoping to have uh, if this works, I've never used this program, but it says it will take this Zoom call and actually make a indexable written transcript and even will uh, summarize uh, some of the stuff. So I'm hoping to actually uh, do that and send that with the replay so that if there's something that you're looking for, uh, you, what did that guy say? Or what was that I, one thing? I, you can actually find it really quick. Just want to add one more thing. I will post this whole summary in the QA section. Uh, I'm sorry? I, I will post the whole summary of this hack in the QA section. Okay. All right. Great. Appreciate it. He's going to post in the Q&A section. All right. Cool. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, we have Ron. Uh, I'm sorry, Rob. Rob Barber. Rob still. Hey, how are you? Hold on. Hey, how you doing, start... man? Hey, I am doing great. Let me start my vid. There All right. Go. Let me get my screen shared. All right, can you see it? We good? I can see it. I can the Google Sheets compare code. Yep, I can see yeah. it. Are you are that you ready? Is it. All right. All right. Uh, three minutes is starting right now. All right. Hey, uh, my name is Rob Barber, and uh, I have been doing stuff online since back in the uh, mid '90s. Got started with domain names, and I'm a geek at heart, and uh, I love everything about marketing and code and whatever. But we all love spreadsheets and uh, maybe we don't all love them, but they are incredibly useful. <clears throat> so anytime you're wanting to 
do large compares of um, anytime you want to do large compares of uh, uh, data. Um, sorry, the um, controls. Let me just move these. So anytime you're trying to do large compares of data, it's uh, it can be challenging, especially if you want to do say a uh, category listing report, and this is just dummy data. Uh, we know how many uh, we know how many columns are in here, right? There are a bazillion of them. And one of the things that I found was great to do with this was to use Google Sheets with a little bit of code, and it will actually compare all the uh, data between two sheets. So you could take sheet one and sheet two, and there's a little bit of different data there. The uh, the extensions you go into macros, and then you run the compare sheets code. And I'll give everybody the code. Uh, and, and of course, during a live demo, which it ran before, uh, anyhow, uh, it will highlight the actual differences between sheet one and sheet two. Uh, and so, of course, there's a little error checking. Oh, that's because I had different lines here. Sorry. But nonetheless, it will show you that there are differences uh, between this one. So the price on sheet one for that is different there than it is on sheet two. It just makes it, it's a very quick way to do this. And of course you can manipulate the code and you can do, uh, you can actually pay somebody to uh, enhance it and prevent little error messages like that, which inevitably happen whenever you do a live uh, presentation. But it's actually a lot simpler than uh, uh, than you would expect. This is really the, this is the, this is all of the code, which I'll, I'll make sure everybody gets a copy of it. And uh, you can download it here. Um, you know, there's a PDF and I can paste this or give it to uh, Kevin and you can download it. But essentially the, this is the code. And then I give you all the steps of how to actually implement that code within Google Sheets, like all the way through. So this takes you from start to finish. It may look complicated, but it really isn't. It's just a way of telling Google uh, to allow you to run some code. And um, and this can be used for a wide variety of things, not just, you know, the category listing report. It can be any, any Google sheet that you want. And right now it's just set up to compare two different sheets. But um, that's about it. Awesome. Awesome. Rob, appreciate that. That was uh, great. And we'll try to get that, that code share. Um, I know he posted that when he submitted his hack. So I'll try to include that for everybody in the replay or if, uh, so everybody can, can get that when the replay email goes out, I'll try to include that there as well. All right, we still got about five more really cool ninja hacks uh, and tips coming your way. But before they do that, I'm just gonna show you one little thing real quick. Uh, let me bring up my screen. So as most of you know, the, the Billion Dollars Next Live in-person Billion Dollars Seller Summit, I do one in person, one a year and one virtual. It's coming up in June. Uh, and it's at the, the Vanderbilt hotel. That was the, uh, you know, that was one of the trivia questions right there. June 15th. There's, there's one of the answers that, uh, won somebody a ticket there. Uh, it's a really cool event. Uh, it's not just presentations, but we have a lot of fun, a lot of networking. Uh, it's, it's something that I hope to see some of you are able to make it out at. And what I want to do right now is I've never done this before. The tickets, if you go to billion dollar seller summit.com, the main website, they're expensive. And the reason they're expensive is one, the event costs a lot. It's not a huge profit maker for me, believe it or not. People think I'm probably just rolling in money, charging that kind of price. I'm not. It's very expensive to put on. And and what and it also the the higher price keeps the quality of attendee. You know, it's it's made for sellers, for bigger sellers. And so it's someone that can't afford, you know, six thousand dollars to come is probably not at the level that we're trying to attract there. We want you'd be rubbing shoulders with other, you know, 100 million, 50 million, 20 million, $10 million sellers, not someone that just started out selling on Amazon. That's the whole point of it's to be around peers. And a lot of the best stuff happens sitting around, as Norm and I call it, sitting around the campfire, uh, you know, at lunch, at, at, at the bar, uh, hanging out in the lobby at night, you know, people are on their phones taking notes. So just discussions that are happening. Uh, so it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make a special price right now for the billion dollar seller summit that I've never, ever done this loan. It's only going to be for 10 people. Only the first 10 that take me up on this offer 
are going to be able to get, and it's, it's a seriously low price. Like I'm not talking like here, save 500 bucks or save a thousand bucks. It's a seriously low price. And it's only going to be for the first 10 that actually take up on, take me up on the offer. There's the code. You can go to that link secret, a uh, billion dollar seller summit.com secret 23. Make sure you type, I think lowercase on the secret um, or scan that code. And what you, you'll see there is uh, the price they'll say this is the, no the normal price and it'll be scratched out. It's only for the first 10. I can't do this. I I'm losing money on every one of these tickets. I'm actually losing money on every one of these tickets, but I want to give you guys, you spent some time here. I want to give you an opportunity and some of you uh, are, are on the way up and I want to, I want to help you out. So that's, it's only for 10 people. And, and once those 10 are gone, I'll, I'll turn that page. It'll redirect to the normal page, which is a significantly higher price. So scan that QR code or go to secret 23. This is what's going to be talked about. You've, a lot of you have seen the uh, the post of uh, here's who's speaking and here's the schedule. You can read all of this on the billion dollar, on that website when you scan that uh, QR code up in the top. But these are all the different topics about launching, about uh, ranking, about maintaining your rank, about regaining your rank, uh, stuff on influencer marketing. Uh, you can see like Janelle do a, a live audit where she's going to audit an account. She charges like, Ten fifteen thousand dollars for this, and she's going to show you exactly how she audits the account. It makes a huge difference. Um, there's going to be some stuff. Of course, AI is a hot topic, but way beyond just keywords and PPC and titles. You know, people are using that right now to just write their titles and keyword keywords, bullet points. Way, way beyond that. How you can use that in your business. Um, lots of cool strategies and hacks. We're going to have a hack contest just like this one. We do roundtables where we're going to break out, and we have a subject matter expert, like the guys from uh, several different people are going to be leading those, where it's a, you know, go in and just in-depth talks for like four hours. You can bounce around from different ones one afternoon. It's not presentations. It's just table-side discussions, fireside chats, uh, basically. Uh, we get stuff on video strategies, uh, you know, creating really good brands, a lot of really good stuff. You can, I'm not going to read all this to you here, but you can read this on at that QR code, and you can see all the topics. We have a panel from Puerto Rico that's going to be coming on talking about, you know, if you're going to be exiting your business or you're looking to save money, why should you move to Puerto Rico? Why, you know, how's what's it like paying 4% income tax uh, and having a lot more money in your pocket? What's the experience like in Puerto Rico? Can you get things? Can you do stuff? What's life like? All kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, so hopefully you can make it there and take advantage of, of this. It's only for 10 people. The first 10 that do it, and then it's going to be back at the, the normal price. If you're not able to do it right now, um, I hope hopefully maybe next later this month or next month, you can still uh, decide to join us in Puerto Rico. Um, so just want to put that out there. There's the QR code one last time uh, up at the top. Take your phone or your iPad, whatever you have laying around, and uh, scan that so you have it. Or it's billiondollarsellersummit.com forward slash secret 23. All right. Let's continue on now with our last group of hacks. Our last group of hacks. Uh, next up is Bradley Sutton. Bradley. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Thanks for uh, hanging with us. Uh, it's good to see you. You too, you too. All right. Let me go ahead and share my screen. How's everything been going so far on this uh, webinar? Oh, this is awesome. Like, uh, I'm glad... Uh, I'm almost glad that you didn't tell me when I was going to come on because like, I might've like tried to come on late or something while I was like, and I was able to, to, to see every single hack so far. Really great stuff. Yeah. There's some really been some really, really good stuff and we still got more good stuff to go. All right, here we go. Go ahead and start the time as long as you can. Uh, right, I'll count you down. All right. Screen, okay. Yeah. All right. Here it. we go. All right. Well, on your set, more, on your right, mark, yep, get go. set, go. All right, guys. So de-indexing, you know, a lot of, you know, the common de-indexing is, of course, if you don't have a keyword in your listing, of course, you're not indexed for it. But here are some uh, non-common ones or non-normal, I should probably say. Category change. So, uh, some talked about that before. You know, like if they switch your category, sometimes all of a sudden you're de-indexed for a lot of keywords that Amazon doesn't think is relevant to that category. You know, the algorithm itself might be confused about relevancy. Like maybe you have a laser pencil or something. Well, if you're in the office supply category, Amazon might figure that laser is not relevant, so it's not going to index you for that. Or uh, maybe you had uh, keywords that were only in the search terms and you didn't realize that last year, Amazon kind of de-indexed 30 to 50%, sometimes more of your backend search terms. Like really weird, uh, Amazon doing that, but you might not have realized that that happened and you'd be de-indexed. So obviously if these things happen, you're losing keyword ranking, your PPC impressions might go away, lost sales. So this is what happened to me. I just happened to look uh, two days ago 
on my Helium 10 dashboard into my alerts. And I was like, wait a minute, the egg tray changed from kitchen and dining to tools and home improvement last month. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, at least it's the egg tray category, but I'm like, there's got to be some kind of effects being in the tools and home improvement category. So I checked and sure enough, in index checker, there's a couple of keywords that were, I was tracking in keyword tracker. I only was tracking 30 keywords. Uh, two of them, egg dispenser and this uh, Spanish oh, organizador de huevos, I'm de-indexed for. When I looked in keyword tracker, I'm like, oh my goodness. You're like, you know, the, these I was on page one for, what's going on? Uh, I went into Cerebro. I, I did a historical search. I found a bunch of keywords that I was organically ranking before, ran them through index checker, Tons of keywords are de-indexed now. I even went to some of these and I looked into um, you know, our PPC software. I'm like, the whole month, I'm getting zero impressions on these keywords that I used to be on page one for. So what I do is I just go into special features. This is not in every category, but it'll be under your product details. I, I just put three tests, farmhouse decor, egg dispenser, and organizador de huevos. And within 15 minutes, you could look in that secret back end of the uh, Amazon listings there, it loaded it in special features and it loaded on the front end. And then five minutes later, put those same keywords in index checker, 100% uh, indexed. Five minutes after that, I typed egg dispenser in Amazon. I'm already showing up on sponsor. Remember, that was the keyword that I didn't even have one impression the whole month. So guys, if you get temporarily de-indexed for something um, because your category changed and and you're, it, sometimes it takes a week to fix that with Amazon, and you, you might have lost all of your keyword rank, all of your sponsors. So this is a temporary hack. Just throw these into special features and you'll get re-indexed and re-keyword rank for it. And then you could fix your category stuff on the back end. Or use this when you just cannot get something indexed, no matter what you do. You're doing everything right and you can't get indexed. Throw in your special features. You'll be indexed in 15 minutes. Awesome. Really good. Uh, really good uh, tip there. I got to go do that uh, later today, actually. Um that's uh, that's awesome. Thanks, Bradley. Appreciate it, man. We'll, uh, you looking forward to Puerto Rico as well? Very much looking uh, uh, forward to going directly from there, from uh, Prague, uh, from Lisette's uh, conference, and then going right there. And I know we're gonna have a blast. Yeah, you've. Been, I think are you? You're one of the few. I think you and I think Benjamin Weber and a few others have been to like every single one, every online. single online one, and every single in person. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people have a, a conflict or a miss or something. There's a lot of people that have been to like all but one. Uh, but I think you guys have, have been to like every one. What, what do you think uh, Puerto Rico is going to, how, how do you think it's going to be different? Um, I mean, just being in Puerto Rico is going to be different because obviously the, you know, for those who don't know, the, the rest of them were in Austin, which is a great city, but it'll be, it'll be fun to, I've only been to Puerto Rico before just on like cruise stops. So uh, I, I can't wait to see what activities you had and that family feud thing that that's like, that's a genius idea. I might have to steal that for some future webinar or something. I can't wait for that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you know how competitive all these sellers are. So it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be good. Cool, man. I appreciate it, Bradley. Thank you. All right. Next up, we have John Durkitz. John, how are you doing, man? Thanks for waiting. We got uh, about three or four more. Uh, and then a uh, uh, hack's coming, but John, uh, you're next up. How you doing, man? Hey, thanks for having me, Kevin. Uh, uh, first time caller, long time listener. Uh, <laughs> appreciate it, man. <laughs> I, I, Enjoyed your freedom ticket courses in the past, your AMPN podcast. Uh, it, it's good to be talking live. Awesome. It's nice to have you here too. I'm glad uh, you submitted a, a hack and it, it got chosen. Those of you that are listening that you might have submitted a hack, you know, we, we open this up to people that are not BDSS speakers too. And that's why you see some of the people here are not uh, BS, but they're still smart people. If you submitted a hack and you didn't get chosen, you will get all the hacks that were submitted. There, there was a... Um, I think about 30 or so uh, that were submitted outside of the, the BDSS. So those uh, everybody that submitted one, including like you, John, will get all the other ones, even the ones I didn't choose. There's some good ones in there that weren't chosen. So you'll get all that as well as all the attachments that people included. So you'll get all that. So that's when you play uh, the game, you get to participate in everybody else's. And so that's, that's one of the benefits. Uh, but cool. Do you need to share your screen to show yours? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that right all now. Right. Is that coming through? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. Well, if you're ready, I can go ahead and start the timer. Uh, I'll count you down. Um, three, two, one, go. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is John Durkitz, and I'm going to show you all how to increase your conversion rate by three percentage points 
in three minutes or less. Now, this hack is all about main image op optimization, uh, but not from an editorial perspective. I'm not going to explain and give you best practices on how to stop the scroll. Uh, instead, we're going to talk about the technical requirements of main images and the technical requirements that you and your images are perhaps not meeting and in turn causing your click-through rate and your conversion rate to suffer. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about image resolution. Very simple, very easy, but a lot of images on Amazon suffer from poor resolution, which in turn hurts your click-through rate, hurts your conversion rate. Uh, customers might not get your detail page, and if they do, they might not check out. So what I'm here to show you today is how you can take a low resolution main image, maybe one that you don't wanna shell out money to a photographer to upscale or to a uh, 3D rendering firm to produce a better image, how you can do it on your own in three minutes or less. Now, why do high resolution main images matter? Uh, first of all, because Amazon says they do. I'm gonna show you a clip here from Amazon TOS. And in that highlighted section there below, Amazon says, Zoom has been shown to help enhance sales. This is the only place in Amazon's terms of services where Amazon is making a marketing claim. It is telling you that having a high resolution zoomable image matters. So take their word for it. Don't take their word for it, up to you. But think about it from a customer's perspective. I wanna shop a product that is not blurry, that I can zoom in on and see all the features. So if your product does not meet that standard, specifically the technical standard of at least a thousand pixels on a single side, you're gonna lose sales. So let me show you what this looks like in search results. Some cases it's obvious. If I'm shopping personal cleansing wipes here, most of these look the same. Most of them look high resolution. Nothing really obviously wrong about any of them. But it turns out that there's one that is actually low resolution. And it's this 32 ranked product right here, this survive wear large wet wipes. When you click through to the detail page, and if you have your Helium 10 listing analyzer, what you'll see is that the resolution on this is actually less than a thousand by a thousand pixels per side. It's 300 by 196. So because of that, you can zoom in on the main image, right? Nowhere to zoom. That's one example. So that's one where you might get a click, but you might not get a conversion because a customer can't convert, can't zoom in. The second example, and this one's a little more uh, pressing, is when you're low resolution, but you can't set yourself apart in SERP. We're at three and minutes, uh, John. So uh, it's <clears throat> that you're out of time. Uh, I didn't see the clock there. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. I, I, I give you about, I give you about, I give you about 15 seconds to wrap up real quick. Yeah. So where I'm going with this is. There's a tool, an AI tool called upscale.media, where if you load an image, it's a drag and drop, you can upscale your image uh, to get to the required resolution. That image that I just showed you was about 500 by 300 pixels. You upscale it and you're now 2000 by 1500. So check out this tool, great way to increase the resolution on your images. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks John. Kevin. Appreciate it. All right, so we just have a couple more. Uh, next up is Norm Farrar. Norm, you in the house. I am. Welcome. Hopefully, my... there... there we go. There now we go. Working. Just saw Norm this last weekend, too. How you doing, man? Long time no see. I'm, yeah, yes, long time no cigars. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Norm and I always, uh, every event, it's a tradition to every night to uh, smoke cigars, uh, whether it be 10 below or 100 above. Uh, we're always finding a place to smoke cigars. Um, <laughs> cool. Well, Norm, uh, um, how's there been? You've been on here this whole time uh, learning some good stuff. There's been some really great. You know what I've been doing is like just that last one. I uh, emailed it to myself so I can look at it later. I've never heard of that. So that was a cool tip right there. But there's yeah, been a bunch. There have. And I, I think you got one to share with us too. Do you need to share a screen? Yeah. Let me see here. You got that? Oops. Just a sec. Let me see. Just a second. Where is it? There we go. All right. Uh, All right. Are you, how do I? 
Okay, uh, are you seeing it? Yeah, the professional uh, wireless mic. Yep. All right, okay. Cool. So uh, mine. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I started the top. The clock. All right. So mine's uh, pretty simple. Uh, this is just I've been dabbling with influencers, and one of the things that uh, we noticed is that we were making shoppable videos for people, but they couldn't get the, they couldn't get the video on their site. And one of the reasons was if you take a look at this site, really, you know, not a bad looking site, but they've never uploaded a video. So if you want influencers to be on your listing, or even if they just find your listing and there's no videos on it, uh, they can't do it because you have no video here. So I would just take your iPhone or do whatever you need to do and get a basic video up there. You can go to Animoto, you can go to Canva. You literally can just go on your iPhone and upload it very simply. So once you do that, then you're going to have something like this. And you're going to see that there is videos on here. Now, if there's only one, then that's fine. That, it's yours. It's in your slide deck. But this one, you're going to see that there's six. Ah, of course, of course. Let me just see if I can back out. There we go. Ah, there. Okay, so they've uploaded one. And you know what we were looking at earlier on, you could upload multiple ones and take over the related. But these are all your influencers that have put up um, uh, shoppable videos. Now, here's the thing. I did one, and I'm not a big influencer at all on this side of the uh, of the fence. I put up a video on a uh, espresso coffee machine in two weeks. They got extra sales. They got 50 to 60 extra sales. And those sales are going to just, they're just continuing on a water purifier I put up. And again, I want to stress, I'm not a big influencer, product influencer. And we had 40 to 50 sales. That's a $300 product. So that's the one thing. Uh, a couple of my others were uh, already said <laughs> on here. So I scrambled and I did something completely different. Um, I wanted to show people uh, something, and I don't, I can't see the timer, but I'm going to hopefully have enough time. 40 Google seconds. Business, what's that? Three seconds? 40. Okay. Google business pros file, get it done, get it up there for your brand, add a photo. And what's going to happen is anybody who thinks that you can't, you, you have to use Google shopping. You can take one picture. Okay. And I'll show you right up here. Is this the one? Of course it's not. Anyways, I wanted to show you where one knife company took most of the top spaces, okay? It took, uh, it was at Walmart, it was going over to Amazon, it was on Etsy. It, this is the beauty of Google business profile is you can take a image or multiple images and drive it over to your Amazon listing, your shoppable listing, or your, um, your uh, shop over to whatever you want to. And it's multiple images being reached all at one time. So that's it. If you don't use the first one, get influencers to use or, or market shoppable videos. You need to have that one video and do this. You can multiple, you can send all right, images Norm. to everybody. Appreciate it, man. Yep. That, that was great. So you're saying that if there's not, just to clarify, you're saying if you don't have a video on your listing, influencers can't add a video? Yep. What you'll see is that you, they could get into related videos, but you want them in your slide deck or off, off to the side. Okay. So when so you got to have one on, there already for, okay. I see. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Next up we have Sean and Seth, Sean and Seth. How are you doing? Squared. Man, How's thanks for inviting me to your virtual fireside chat. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see again. Long, I know. Of I have you... to follow Norm Farrar. That's a tough act to follow. Yeah. So we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're going to be just fine. <laughs> Does one of you Thank need you. to uh, share the screen? Always. Here go we ahead, go. Sean. I'm sharing. Is that working now? Uh, it's working. All right. Are you guys ready? I'll start the. Uh, can you see the three minute timer on one of the other screens? Yep. Buddy, I was born ready. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right. In today's hack, I'm going to show you how you can spike your sender reputation to get your email marketing messages delivered. But before you hang up, I have to inform you that Seth and I have discovered that 41% of our revenue comes from our existing customers through follow-up marketing, specifically email marketing. So 
The problem is a lot of you are building email lists and you're either not using them, which is a sin, or you're using the email list and you're not getting results because you're not being delivered and you're not being opened or clicked. Well, here's the fix for that. All we need to do when we're building an email list is make an offer that any reasonable Amazon customer cannot say no to. And once we have them on your list, we need to immediately follow up with them. So here's the scenario. We need to create a situation where when an Amazon shopper opens your package, they have no choice but to take action on the offer that you're making. So let's say you're offering a free video download to show how to get the best use to enhance the customer's experience. They go to a landing page, and a lot of you are doing this. You go to the landing page, put in your email or phone number, and, and download this, this uh, instructional video, right? But where you're doing it wrong is once I enter my email, you're sending me to a second page that delivers the darn value, the video, the coupon code, what have you. Here's the hack. If you want to spike your sender reputation, you have to stack the deck in your favor. So when I go to the landing page to enter my email or phone number, instead of delivering that content on the following page, the following page should say, thank you. We've received your entry. We sent you an important email. This is what it looks like. Go to your inbox, open, and reply to that email with X, fill in the blank. What we've done there is we've created a slippery slope where each action, right, specifically leads to the next action that we need them to take part in. Now, once you do it this way, the email service provider, MailChimp, AWeber, Active Contact, whatever, the email service provider will automatically view your email as trustworthy, as relevant, right? And not spam because your customer took action immediately by going to their inbox, opening and engaging with that email. If you do this, you'll spike your sender reputation and you'll get to see open rates similar to this one. You see, just today, we just took this screenshot, 89% open rates. No one sees 89% open rates. So. Here's what you can do right now as a free tool. If you go to postpurchasepro.com, we have installed right on the page an Amazon store analyzer tool. Throw in the link or the URL to your Amazon store and our tool will spit out the results of what you're possibly missing by not building a customer list. All right. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. Thank that you, was great. Thanks, uh, Seth, as well for, uh, for playing uh, Sidekick. <laughs> Not enough time, Kevin. Thank you. You can't win if you don't play, buddy. You can't win. <laughs> that's right. Play. That's right. All right. So uh, we have two people that were supposed to present. I'm not sure if they're here. I know uh, one is Leo Scovio. Leo, are you here? I know he messaged me and said he had a problem with his, his child. Something happened uh, with his child. So he uh, just doing a double check to see if he was able to get on or not. Um, I don't see him. He'll be, he's one of the speakers in Puerto Rico. Uh, so it looks like he is not here. Uh, and then the other one's Matt Altman, Matt Altman. I, I saw him in here earlier, but maybe he had to leave and go to a meeting. Matt Altman, uh, if you're here, um, log in with the presenter link or if Leo, if you happen to be in the audience, log in with the presenter link. If I'll give them a, a few seconds, if that, uh, if neither one of them uh, comes in, we'll go to the voting to determine who the winner of this hack contest is. Uh, in the meantime, someone asked me to share this again. This is the uh, remember Billion Dollar Solar Summit, June 11th to the 16th. Uh, you've heard from s quite a few of the speakers, about s eight or nine of the people that have presented here out of the 23, I think it is, that have presented, uh, are actually speaking in Puerto Rico. If you missed it, I'm just allowing 10 people to come at a, at a crazy low price. Uh, it's BillionDollarSellerSummit.com forward slash secret 23 or you can scan that QR code right there. It's limited to the first 10. I'm, I haven't checked my email. Let me check my email right now just to see. Um, so I've got any confirmations to see if anybody's done this. Um, yeah, one, two, three. Uh, there's a seven, seven so far uh, right now. Um, looks like seven people have already done that since I announced that about 15 minutes ago. Uh, so if you're interested in that, take a look. Also at that page is all the topics that are gonna be discussed in Puerto Rico. So you can get details. And like, if you're like, ah, no, I know these people, but it's just going to be the same old thing. You know, check, check that out. You can actually hear and see everything that's being discussed. 
see the schedule, get all the information. Hopefully we'll see you in Puerto Rico. Uh, so that's the link right there. All right, so I don't see uh, Leo uh, or Matt here. So let me take them off of the voting page real quick. We're gonna pick a winner and a runner up. Make sure there's no. So what you're gonna see on this page, it's a type form page. You're gonna see a list of all the speakers in alphabetical order by first name. And I've put a little note next to their name, what they talked about just to, uh, cause you're like, man, what? I can't remember the name of that person that talked about slash through pricing. Uh, well, you'll actually see that that was Rosvon, for example, uh, if that's the thing that you thought was the best, you're gonna vote for the one that you thought was the best, the biggest difference maker for you uh, in the, that you're gonna implement right away or the thing that you thought was the coolest, that's what you wanna vote for. I'm gonna keep it open for about a minute or so minute, minute and a half, and then I will publish here uh, on a screen share the live results. So this is the where you want to go. Oh, this is where you want to go right here. You can scan that with your phone or with your iPad or whatever you have laying uh, around your tablet, or just type in that bit.ly link. It's bit.ly bit and then BDSS for Billion Dollar Seller Summit vote. So bit.ly and BDSS vote. And I uh, you know, when we have a webinar, it's over two hours. We always lose a few people. There's still 400 and uh, something people on uh, 422 people still here. We had 700 at one point. Uh, <clears throat> people have lives. So uh, sometimes they got to go and watch the replay. But if you can vote um, right now, that would be great. We'll give that another minute or so. Let's just make sure the results. I see uh, so far 50 results coming in. Uh, now it's 60, now at 81. Keep on voting, please. All right, keep on voting. We've got it's actually at 70, it says 72 right now. Let's see, keep on voting. Uh, we have 115, I got to refresh. I guess it's been 115 answers so far. We got 410 people in here right now. So please go vote. Click that link to, uh, if you were here and vote for what your favorite was. Don't make this like a presidential election where only a small portion of the people vote. Uh, let's try to get at least... Uh, a third to half of everybody to vote that what your favorite was. So we got 178 right now. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it 60 seconds more. 60 seconds more. I know some of you gotta kind of think about it, scroll through the list. 60 seconds more. About 30 more seconds. We have 226 that have voted. So there's still a bunch of you that are on here. Maybe you stepped away from your computer. Try to get this number up a little bit more. You can get it past 250. Yeah, we're past 250. Let's get to 300. 300. Now we're at 259. So the 300 would be uh, three fourths of the room right now. So that would be a good uh, valid number. All right, so let me see where we're at. 280, 289, we need uh, just a few more, a few more. Get to that 300, you can only vote once. All right, we're at 304. All right, so I'm going to hit refresh one more time, and that's going to be the final one. All right, and I'm going to share this screen so you can see. Let's see, share screen. All right. Hopefully, everybody can see that screen. It looks like Antonio Bindi. 
you won with the uh, cross-selling with the variations hack. 29.4% of the votes actually voted that as their favorite. Carlton, uh, the Shuffleville Video Extreme, which uh, was really good. He is second. So congratulations to Antonio. You got uh, fifteen hundred dollars, American dollars, not uh, not not uh, Brazilian dollars coming your way. Uh, Ant Antonio's from Brazil, uh, and Carlton's over uh, in uh, Asia uh, or actually Australia. You got five hundred U.S. dollars coming your way. Congratulations to the two of you, Travis, uh, Joshua, Steve, Bradley, everybody else. Uh, Thanks for participating. Uh, you did great. Obviously, it resonated with some people, but it looks like Antonio and Carlton's were the two that resonated the most. Uh, awesome. Good job, everybody. I want to say thanks to all the presenters today that came on and presented. Uh, this was amazing. I saw some comments in the, feel free to put in the Q&A what you thought of this webinar, critical or uh, supportive. I saw some people earlier say uh, this was a, the best Zoom webinar they've ever been on. Uh, but if anybody uh, has any comments, uh, I'd love to, to see them and hear them. Hopefully, you can join us in Puerto Rico. Uh, if you're not able to make it Puerto Rico, there'll be another virtual event, Billion Dollar Seller Summit next year, uh, early next year, probably February. But hopefully, you can make it to Puerto Rico. Remember, take advantage of that code, BillionDollarSellerSummit.com forward slash secret 23. If you're interested in joining us at a, a crazy uh, good price, the replay will be going out sometime in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I will also try, like I said, I'm going to try to include a transcript. I know there's a few accents that are a little bit hard to understand. So I'm going to have an AI program, try to uh, make a little transcript, make a little summary too, to, uh, so you can find stuff and you can uh, uh, read that if you prefer, or that's kind of like an index to the whole thing. So I want to say thanks to everybody for coming on today. Appreciate you taking uh, two and a half hours out of your day and sharing it with us. Hopefully this has made a difference and you got a few things that you can go implement right away or in the next uh, few days with your with yourself or with your team. And again, hope to see you soon in uh, in Puerto Rico or the next time online. Take care, everybody.